Hello, everybody. Good morning. Don't mind me. Spooky message. Or good afternoon. Or good evening, depending on what time it is for you where you are. I'm going to hide the pet cam for the moment because there's nobody home. <laughs> They're elsewhere. Nami Whammy, thank you for the 51 month resub. Happy Wednesday. Officially started my PhD last week. Congratulations. Nice to sit down and actually catch some of your stream. Also, we had Cupcake Chaos with a 47 month resub during the countdown. Good morning, Hazel. Good morning to you. And Kalias, thank you for the 11 month resub. Almost at a year. Hi, guys. Hello, everybody. This is lovely. Camelani Panda, thank you for the 47 month resub. Thanks for existing. I got you. <laughs> I can exist any day of the week. I'm, I'm, I'm on a roll. <laughs> I'm on an existing uh, hot streak, one might say. I'm so comfy. It's so nice to sit. I have a hot water bottle that is feeding me life right now because it's just always a little cold. I've refused. It's my own fault. I have refused to turn on the heat, like the electric heat in the apartment yet, because it's always kind of a game of how far into the fall can we make it before this isn't fun anymore. Um, because obviously the longer you, you wait, the less money you spend heating the place. Um, so, October's starting to push it, but it's not, like, freezing. Usually, if it starts getting, like, below 19 Celsius inside at night, that's when I've had enough. Um, but it's probably somewhere in that neighborhood. Bunny Bloom, welcome with the raid. Hope you guys had a lovely stream. Chili here, too. Not a fan. Yeah, it's something I'm... I always am innovating solutions too, but the hot water bottle's great because it's wireless, unlike the healing heating pad. Um, lasts for a couple hours, and I just well, I can I can toast my hands up on it whenever I want, which is nice. <laughs> Eighty-five Fahrenheit here today. That is very different from where I'm at. Oh man! Finally beat Zekvir last night. Item level six hundred was the lucky number, apparently. Nice, congratulations. Heating is included in my rent. 10 out of 10 would recommend because I don't skip out on it. Nice. <sighs> Hi, everybody. What did you get for the trading post? I haven't got anything yet. I need to do that today. That is my big item on my to-do list for the day is to fill the bar for the trading post. Get, what is it, a mount this month? Something like that. Get a, get the fill the bar reward. And then find out what I'm going to buy. I think it's going to be not much. I think I'm going to be saving tendies this month. But... We shall have to see. I think I'm going to concentrate to make like one or two horticulture here because my alchemy concentration is dangerously close to cap. So maybe we'll go have a look at that. Jellyfish recolor. That's right. That's right. Can I look more excited? Do I have a more happy face? <laughs> it's fine. I just have them already. And we're not far enough out from Xerath Mortis for me to have reached the point where I'm feeling um, in any way nostalgic for it yet. I liked Xerath Mortis, but I'm like, I'm, I'm good for now. So let's just do like, what, two of these? I always buy fresh mats, even if I have mats already. Um, just cause, just to, just, just to make sure. Oh, hang on. I want 12 of those. I wanted 24. We're gonna do this twice. Uh, so another 12 of those, and then we're gonna get 12 lure drops, silver, and then the Orbanins and the Blessing Blossoms and the Erethor Spear. Nothing too crazy, just to kind of take the lid off. Now that I'm no longer needing so much concentration to just get through alchemy work orders, I have a little bit to do stuff with. It's highly funny to me that I'm I'm not even specced in a harmonious, harmonious horticulture, really. It's just the the thing to do. Oh, I'm going to need two Viridescent Spores as well. Archer Moo, thank you very much for the 18-month resub. Happy year and a half. Viridescent Spores. I should just put, like, a thousand of these in my bank, but it would cost me my life savings to do so. <laughs> Getting my hand mount so I don't have to go back to Shadowlands. Nice. Got the hand mount. Debating on buying the Scarecrow set. It's so cool, but 800 tenders. I need to see how it looks on my gnome. My current plan is to not buy the Scarecrow set because it's going. it would be 800 tender. But it's kind of like a we'll see sort of situation. Am I really... Okay, there we go. I was going to say, am I really not even guaranteed silver? There we go. There's the silver. And then 384 concentration. Yeah, okay. And one of those. It's a lot of concentration, but we're not really doing anything else with it. And a little resourcefulness proc. There we go. Nice. We only have a 4% chance to multicraft, but wouldn't that be special? <laughs> Kitty Rotten, thank you for the two-month reset. 
Didn't do much ZM, so I didn't have the map already, luckily. Hmm, nice. It's definitely a brand new mount. Even if you did complete Zareth Mortis, it'll still be new. It's just, a, it's just reminiscent. Oh yeah, I bought that to get a Weaver Cloth robe that I never got. I ended up buying uh, knowledge points instead, so I guess I can just... Eh, I'll sell it for now. I don't want to carry it around with me. I suppose I'll carry the bolts around with me. I suppose that's fine. Uh, what else do I want to do? I should have some progress already towards the fill the bar thing, just because, um, any patron orders? Any good ones? Yeah. Um, I should have some progress already. Is that really the only thing I'm missing? Because I did play yesterday. I didn't do the trading post, but I did play. I did some keys. I did a couple of delves. Uh, it's delve week this week, so there's, like, a weekly quest for delves, which seems like a good idea to do. Um, you know, a couple of world quests. Got some flight stones and spent some flight stones and stuff. I, uh, because the weekly cap for the pink crest went up, I was able to trade, like, all of my lesser crests and get a bunch of pink crests and upgrade my gear. So I'm now at item level 614 is where I'm at right now. I got a pair of myth track bracers from my vault this week. That is what I selected. It was the one item I had in my vault for doing a plus 10 key. Not in time, but we did finish it. And that's what I took. It was lucky it was in a slot that I was able to take it at. It's not perfect stats, but it'll do. It's not too bad. Oh, really? Wow, okay. Um, yeah, there we go. That's, that's, that's the nice way to do it. Did you finally get new gloves? I got some gloves last week, I think. I got them from doing a key. That I don't think is worth it. And that I don't think I actually have. You mean you can play WoW without us? <gasps> All, not as much as I used to. I used to play a lot, but you know, every now and then, go make some food now. Multicraft procs were popping on engineering last night, made so many extra parts. Nice. You changed something with Tender? Um, I would bet that it's some kind of a display error. I haven't heard of any major changes, but um, Tender visuals have sometimes been buggy and inconsistent. There's been there's been wonkiness going on, so I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about it too much. I should do two of these. We need so we have storm dust. We just need two spores. Yeah, two spores. Are you enjoying delves now? Only if I can go with Flabby. They're too slow to do by myself. I'm really spoiled. They're too they take too long. I and they wouldn't take as long if I didn't do an eight. But then I'm like, but I could be just doing an 8. I may as well just do the 8. Even on my hunter, um, if I go with Flabby's Demon Hunter, we can get through an 8 just fine. So it feels like a waste of time for me to not do an 8, but then it feels like it takes way too much time to do the 8. So um, it's okay if I go with 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 Flabby, but um, I don't. I haven't done any on my own at all. Yes, 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 yes. yes. There, I'm still kind of... A, a lot of my friends have been really enjoying them. A lot of you guys have been really enjoying them. I think I will at some point come around to them. I don't think they're bad content. They're just, for whatever reason, I've not been in the right mind space to just like really get into them and kind of enjoy it. Uh, the audacity of you having this as a hobby outside of work. Well, I'm in, it's really infringing on my embroidering time. <laughs> I'll tell you that. New x -Pack. pretty okay. I still want Tuscar as a playable race. Give me walrus people. I raided with a walrus. Not raided. I did keys with a walrus last night, but that's because I'm pretty sure he's still got like a million blubbery muffins from Dragonflight. And it made me want blubbery muffins. <laughs> Okie dokie. That's good. And then raid's gonna be tonight, and I think it should be a nice easy reclear because we have lots of item level and gear and stuff. I didn't get the trinkets I wanted. Oh, you wanna, you wanna know something else funny that I did? I don't know if it's funny, but I'm proud of it. I did Keystone Master, right? We were doing more keys. I finally got my score, so I got Keystone Master. It's very exciting. Um, mount special. You know, it does a whole it does a whole salute. It'll like shoot fireworks into the sky. It's great. Diamond mech suit. You know, it looks so funny in that thing. It's the Oracle eyes. It makes her look like she's been given a directive to destroy humanity. Um, <laughs> that's exactly what she's gonna do. It's like they were only left with the XL model. <laughs> Listen, leg room. Do you need to reach those levers? I don't think so. I don't see her touching them. You get the self-driving model. But the funny thing to me about having gotten Keystone Master is, can be summed up in the statement, Stone Vault who? Has anyone seen this key? 
Also, Arakara as well. But like, I don't know what this dungeon is. I don't know what the bosses do. I don't really remember it. It had like a star pattern in the hallways. Who's to say couldn't tell you haven't seen it in weeks? Weeks, I tell you. Um, so that was my my week as I got my Keystone Master while having my best run as an Arakara 3 and a Stone Vault 2 because this key does not exist. All we ever get are these four. All the keys that we ever get are Threads, Wake, Mists, and then Siege of Borellis. That's all we ever do. Sometimes maybe we'll get a Grim Batol key. This key was from like weeks ago as well. I never see Dawnbreaker and that has a trinket that I could use in it. Um, all we ever get are those four. <laughs> Congrats on Keystone Master. Why, thank you. I am happy with it. Only part of Delves that annoys me is the story rotation. Four days waiting for a couple specific storylines for specific Delves for the meta. Hmm. I just killed a rare who was sitting on a peak. Despawned when it died. Fell through the cliff 200 meters down onto the beach. Hmm. Keys for us have been pretty tough. Anything above a plus five is so hard. I actually got brick walled for the first time last night. We were running a key and we got to a boss that we could not kill. We tried, we, tr we pulled it like five or six times for practice, maybe seven. We tried, we tried moving cooldowns around, we tried different strategies, nothing, nothing doing. It was too hard. Um, it was in City of Threads, it was the third boss, the Coagulum, and it was on a nine tyrannical. And heal as, as best as I could. It wasn't happening. It was too hard. We were just losing people during the AOE. And then we were running out of room as well. Um, it was it was just it was just gnarly. That's that one's not happening yet. So, let's see where we're at for this. Oh, I'm already halfway done. That's nice, huh? Um, because I did play yesterday. So we could get some easy points, of course, from pet battles. I could get some if I do two more crafting orders, I could get some really easy points there. I used to do this in Dragonflight by just like crafting ordering myself for like a like a really basic thing. Um, I used to get like bolts made by a tailor. I could probably work order myself to make like what's what's something really cheap here. What doesn't cost barely anything? Isn't there like a like a mirror powder? Maybe that's enchanting. Let me go take a look at enchanting. Did you do Zekfir? No, I don't think so. I don't really understand Delves much. I don't think I'm very far in the Delve journey. I don't I don't know. He's like a purple guy that like sometimes it powers mobs. I don't know. I I haven't really f come to grips with that. You know what I did do though was I went I took my undercoins to the uh, cosmetic vendor and I got myself um, this toy that makes me have fireflies for half an hour that I love, and then I got myself um, the mushroom toy that turns me into um, a uh, shroom person. <laughs> so we're doing something right. Did a plus seven necrotic last night, and the first three bosses were so tough on Tyrannical. Two chested a nine dawn, saw two people get the ring I need, couldn't trade. Oh, I'm so sorry. Gonna get KSM out of the way, not feeling that motivated. Don't know if that's just me though. Mm. Halifall did fishing derby is every Saturday. <sighs> this thing doesn't have a dance emote, but you can use it in combat, which is kind of nice. So, two more work orders for trading post credit. I'm thinking mirror powder. That's... I mean, it's it's like a hundred gold each, but you know, whatever. Mana oil. I mean, actually, I actually need mana oil. But... Um, what, what else? What else can I make really cheap? I'm just gonna work order from myself. Maybe even like the, the basic ring enchants, actually. It's just like if we're gonna just burn five dust. Actually, I don't know if that'll work. Um, it might have to be something like mirror powder. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll work order myself two of those. I think that should do. Let's see. <sighs> Scarecrow time! Hmm. I had to go to LFG to pug a key. Most of them are stone vault. It has to be- I mean, obviously it's just RNG, but it's just so funny because I play with the same, like, five or six people. And we'll kind of, like, rotate around who's in the group. And we get keys and we re-roll them too because we have so many duplicate keys and all we ever get are the same four keys with maybe a Grim Batol sometimes. We literally never see Stone Vault, Arakara, or Dawnbreaker. Um, to the point that I, if you asked me to tell you what to do in Arakara, I would be like, where? <laughs> huh? Um, are there spiders? It sounds like a spider place. Uh, oh, somebody made my treatises. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know if it's worth me doing mining and herbling treatises, but it makes me feel good. <laughs> Unflawed system. <laughs> Racy Sapphire, thank you for the 47 month resub. 
And this is not quite where I'm looking for. Finally been cold enough here for sweaters. Now we have Scarecrow Team Hulk. Loving the Halloween vibe. You guys picking at Halloween costumes? I saw Cupcake Chaos had them, had, went and got some for uh, her and the kids. I was debating Moosey's costume. I never dress up for Halloween aside from just putting on the same Murloc onesie that I wear every year. But, um... My dog dressed up last year because he was a puppy and I put some little felt bat wings in his back and he was really cute. And I was thinking about this year and I'm like, well, I could get bigger bat wings. The old ones I think would look like... I don't even think the straps will fit around him. I think that he is quintupled in size since last year because he grew up. <laughs> So maybe, um, maybe My for your that won't work. But I could get him bigger ones. They're not that expensive. They're way too expensive for what they are, which is basically just like stiff felt in a shape. I need to find out what day of the week is Halloween on this week. You know, like what are Moose's strutting his stuff opportunities here? like to take a moment and highlight the glorious invention that is the wormhole generator, especially since there's no portal to Halifall. So good, this is your engine. Mm -hmm. It's open for more pumpkin items from the trading post. Maybe they'll do new stuff for Hallow's End. When does Hallow's End begin? Not for a long time. Wow, it doesn't even start till the 25th? We're still going to be doing Hallow's End a full week after actual Halloween is over. My goodness. All right. Um, I'm checking the mail and that's not right. We're looking to do this. So this should, this should be good. This is just for trading post credit. Uh, personal. Do -do -do -do. Sure. I mean, I could probably use cheaper stuff. Do I have cheaper stuff? No. Oh well. <laughs> Maybe I should use those. <laughs> you know, if I was going to make them anyway. But anyways, that was worth 200 points, which is lovely. Uh, so I need another 375. So we can do pet battles. I'm 10 and 25 dungeon bosses. I'm 14 and 25 quests. Flabby was telling me a sick tip, which is that if you have an alt, like a high level alt that has not been to collect their reputation, like their renown gains recently, like they could just go to like the Dornagall person and then get like five or six dumps of like Valor Stones and Crests and whatever, those all count as quests. So maybe my hunter should take like a little a little trip, although it's only for a hundred. I'm two of five mythic plus dungeons done. I don't really want to do three whole keys. I'm probably just gonna do pet battles. We can do fifteen and that'll, that'll be two hundred. That's easy. <sighs> I could do wild pet battles and I probably should Oh, that reminds me actually. So yes yester week. <laughs> last week when I was streaming, I did the Kazalgar Safari achievement. And I didn't even realize until after I had ended the stream that I got a pet for doing it. I thought I was just doing it for wahoos. Um, no, it gave me this waxwick pet. Isn't this cute? Isn't this so cool? I've never seen a pet like that. And it's for doing Castlegar Safari, for catching all the wild pets in, um, in, in the new expansion. And it's awesome. <laughs> I love it. Wonder why all world quests are three and a half days, except pet battles, which are 24 hours and spawn to regular times. I was thinking of doing pet battle world quests for the pet battle thing, because then I could maybe... Well... Yeah, actually, maybe. <laughs> yeah, you're right, they do spawn at weird times, because I don't see one here. I must have done it or already or something. Um, yeah, so I can do some pet battle world quests. I want to do some actual world quests as well. I don't know why, I just like doing them. I guess that's a good enough reason. <laughs> I suppose that's fine. There must be trading post credit you can get for delving as well. Let me see. Mm, or within. Valor stones, five delves. Not very many points. You get reputation. Valor stones. Forging a pact. I don't think I've finished that yet either. What did I pick up for forging a pact anyway? Oh no, that's the... Oh, that's the, the weaver thing. Although I'm actually maxed out with the weaver. So I bought the weaver mount, I bought the weaver pet, and I um, pledged to the general this week. I'm not thrilled about it because it means I lose my 30% crafting and gathering speed that I get from being weaver aligned, but I figure it's probably prudent or whatever to, uh, you know, get rep towards the two that still need rep instead of just pledging to the one that I'm already fully capped out with. He's a fat little candle man. <laughs> He's tiny and looks drunk and I love him. <laughs> that is a 
Eh, good characteristic of candles. They often look a little drunk. I have a problem with my candles. I like jar candles because they feel a little safer to me. Um, and I, they, I get t bad tunneling in them because I don't light them for long enough. I'll light the candle for like 10 minutes and I'll be like, candle time over, but like all it's had time to do is just like melt a little hole in the middle of the candle. This is not a real problem. <laughs> this is not a big problem. Imagine he talks with Smoker's voice all the time. <laughs> hey. How you doing? I'm just imagining the Smoker's voice just being goblins. How you doing? I've got a Jersey accent for no reason. <sighs> Vizier for extra cash. Oh. You want to know why I picked um, the general? It's a very well thought out reason. It was the next one from the left. <laughs> the weaver was the pact that was presented to me all the way on the left. And then reading left to right in a Western fashion, the general came up next. <laughs> I didn't even look at what they were going to give me. I figured uh, that would be good. The only reason I got capped with the weaver, I didn't even do very much rep things with her. I chose the weaver for every weekly that gave rep. Every time they gave me like a dungeon quest that was going to give rep um, and let me pick which rep I wanted, I just dunked it into the weaver because... I knew I wasn't getting down there very much, and I also knew there was some cool stuff that you could get. Am I in holy? I, I, I'm. I'm. I must. I must switch my spec. My goodness. Love scented candles, but get bad migraines from them. Annoying. Yeah. I. I'm pretty sparing with them. I used to like them and use them more, um, but I also sometimes. I. Th you know what happened was um, we had a really bad wildfire season. And I was very focused during that time of trying to get the air quality and the air particles down as much as possible. And I was running purifiers and stuff. And, you know, wood smoke just kind of became the boogeyman because it was like a really big problem. This would have been like 2020, I think, in Oregon. And ever since then, I became a little less chill about just lighting fire in my house for fun. I know it's obviously not gonna be the same impact in air quality, but it's something. Um, so I, I stopped doing it as casually because, uh, I started thinking about what I was breathing. I have a similar thing with, them. Um, I love the smell of incense. And it's actually something I really like about going to the yoga studio is that sometimes in the morning they'll light incense and it's, it smells amazing. But I won't buy it or burn it at home because I, because of the pets and because of just general air quality. Like it's, I don't trust myself to find something that's safe if there is anything that's safe. Um, so I'm better off just enjoying it <laughs> there and then not not bringing it anywhere else in my life. Switch to electronic wax melts has a timer, so I don't forget it. <sighs> Morning, Hazel. How the heck are you? Morning, Jans. I want to say every time that I talk to you um, and that you like ask ask to do something, you have like a magic way of always doing that right when I'm logging off, and I feel bad because it looks like I'm dodging you. And it's just all, it's like always like right when I'm about to turn off the computer and go do something. Mm. Indoor air quality gets ignored a lot. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to freak anybody out or like put anybody off their candles. I'm not, <laughs> this is not the place that you come for like public health things. It was just something that I stopped doing as much after, uh, after the, uh, <laughs> the great, the great wildfire year. Good morning. Good morning. Tokyo was king of that for me in early dragon flight. Just messaging you when you were just about to go. <sighs> oh, hey, we've actually almost finished this. I must be mooching because I don't remember having fought very many mobs and I've almost finished this world quest. I think I'm mooching. <sighs> it feels nice to sit. I'm using my new keyboard. My old one came back to life, but I'm still, I rotated this one in to see how I like it. I don't think it's quite as nice ergonomically, but it does do the job and the keys feel nice. So maybe I'll use this, maybe I'll clean my other one and I'll use this one as a backup and I'll go back to my old keyboard. Yeah, cause I tossed T on the on the keyboard I'd been using for years and it stopped working for a few days, but it seems fine now. So uh, I'm, I think I might rotate it back in cause this one's not, it's, it's okay. It's not small, that is one thing is, a lot of the keyboards that I was shopping, when I was shopping, a lot of the new popular mechanical keyboards are like tiny. And I guess maybe that's for people that are taking them around. 
they're toting them to coffee shops and airports and stuff like that. Because I can't imagine why you would want an extra small one for your desk where it's going to stay put. Like, it's just not as... I guess if you had small hands, maybe? I'm a little close-minded. I can't think outside of my giant spider-fingered world. Mm, what? I was doing... I came... I managed to do... I managed to set it to do pet battles and in the process do no pet battles. So, uh, well done. I <laughs> started doing world quests instead because it was more fun. Oh, and I know I'm going to need more... Um, I know I'm going to need more whatchamacallums uh, trading post credit anyways, and I may end up leaning on like world quests or something or flight stones or whatever for that. That's a delve. That's not the elevator. The elevator's up this way. My goodness. Some folks just dig that 60% life. They do. And I don't understand, but it's okay. I don't have to understand. <laughs> kind of keyboard. Oh, it's it's nothing special. It's a, It's like a Logitech mechanical... It's not from the gaming line, it's from the office line. It's like a K845 or something. Um, it's got a really stupid font for the keys that if you were checking visually to see what key we were pressing, you would have an impossible time differentiating between the O and the zero because they've both just been represented by brackets because they decided to be futuristic or something. And yeah, it's not it's not amazing, it's fine. Um, the keys feel good and it looks, it, it's fairly like, I don't know, normal. <laughs> The one thing I liked about it that I'll have to see how it performs is instead of being recessed and having the keys set down into the keyboard, it's basically just like a flat aluminum board and then the keys float on top of it. And I'm hoping that that makes it easier to clean pet hair out of it because there will be pet hair in it. Um, there is no world in which my keyboard does not get lined with cat and dog hair and just general dander. So it's the other one I have to pop all of the keys out and then like get in there with like Q-tips and and tools and stuff, the air doesn't quite do it. I have to like really get in there. And I'm hoping that this one, I might be able to clean it with just compressed air with the only needing to deep clean it like not as often as that. Spiders don't have fingers, silly. <sighs> Slow and slay. Oh yeah, that one. I don't enjoy 10 keyless keyboards. I need the 10 key for my desk. Um, I would understand if I was toting it around wanting to have like the, the most light and portable keyboard possible, but I don't <laughs> bring my keyboard places. Uh, if I'm on my laptop, I just suffer with my laptop keyboard. So I need the 10 key. I use it for, um, well, I mainly use it around tax time for building my, my spreadsheets. This is most of it. Sometimes passwords. I enter a surprising amount of, oh, I don't like this one. I don't want to do it. <laughs> I should do at least one though. I, uh, I surprisingly enter probably an unreasonable amount of numbers using my mouse buttons actually the the 10 key on the side of my mouse is how I enter if I just need like a couple of numbers for a password or something I'll just punch them in with my thumb what if we were just to saran wrap our keyboard <laughs> oh, nothing will make you stop eating at your desk quite like cleaning your crumbs out of your keyboard I still eat at my desk in an emergency, but I don't do it if I can avoid it now. And I've actually, I've been getting up earlier, so it's been, I've had time to eat breakfast before stream lately. Most of the time. Agenda. Expressing gratitude, friends. Got the Logitech MX mechanical. Love that one. Super easy to clean. Still got the mechanical. Click back. Load screen gorgeous. Is it an add-on? I don't think so. I think it's just the game. Sweet stuff. I'm sorry. Get those box switches for keeping dust and pet hair out. Hmm. Right <laughs> wrap on the keyboards, just like my grandma's couch. That's why I use chopsticks eat to the side. I live on a largely toast-based diet. <laughs> it sprays a lot of crumbs. Uh Jinla, are you alright? <laughs> Is everything going okay? What do you mean? Can you teach me how to raid heal? It may be rough to start. Are you healing tonight? Because if you're healing, I'm not. <laughs> that's that's it. No, you tank for us, don't you? Do you tank for us? No, you're a shaman. I can't keep track anymore. Um. Yeah, I got. <laughs> I don't know, man. You press the buttons. Muffins. Any tips to farm gold? Enchants are expensive. They are. I say as though I'm not the one selling them. Um, easy gold gathering and world quests. Uh, more complicated gold? Professions. Any of them. 
depending on what floats your boat and suits you. New WoW Scandal Hazel has no idea what her guildies play. You want to hear the real scandal is I don't even know who some of my guildies are by voice, which is embarrassing when they ask me for a life grip. Um, I once I it was it was pretty bad. It was recently and it was our tank. And they've raided with us for maybe two seasons, maybe more. If it's been seven, I offer my deepest apologies. But they were like, Hazel, can I have a grip? Because they were stuck somewhere. And I'm like, sure. May I ask who is speaking? Because <laughs> like some of my guildies have really distinctive voices. And then some of them just sound nice you know um and i can't i can't always tell all of them apart if i haven't known them for a long time and then sometimes people just change characters too um a, a bunch of people are on new characters this this week but they uh i i think they thought i was gonna know who they were and i didn't <sighs> and i feel like i'm due one day for a reckoning where it's like hazel thinks she's too famous for people and the reality is that hazel's just shy and not that engaged with other people <laughs> Um, I don't think I'm too famous for anybody. I just, uh, <laughs> I just get scared and stick my head in the sand like an emu. I was told I have to heal tonight. I wonder if somebody else is, um, gone or if we're just really worried about re-clearing, um, open X. Wish I could eat the amount of bread. Love it. Absolutely loves turning into fat for me. Wasting your life grip to grief me when I'm running away so it's on CD. I, I would never do such a thing. This is slander. <laughs> I'm the only priest in the raid too, so though, so if somebody does get like a bad life grip, I can't be like, oh no, it's definitely the other guy. Like, it's, it's only me. How's anthrax footage coming? I don't have any heroic footage still. I'm not like specifically waiting for heroic footage, but sometimes it works out that way anyways. Um, I have the notes for it. It just has a lot of abilities. It's just got a lot of stuff to get through. Um, so it's not coming very quickly, especially on days that I don't sit down with it. Unless it's really important, I won't talk in voice, so I'm the voice that no one recognizes. Charlie is the king of griefing me with life grip on his priest. <laughs> it's a lot happening on those platforms. Most of the abilities in the dungeon journal aren't really like relevant or worth calling out. Like they're just things that you would kind of intuitively understand. But the trick is to go through them all and figure out of those things. Like just for just for the pop the bubble to jump over the wave thing, we've got one, two, three, four, five. Um, and that's before you even get to the wave, which has a, another pair of things on its own. And that's on normal. Um, I'm not making excuses. I'm just, uh, I'm just, uh, making excuses. <laughs> um, so like a lot of this doesn't need like its own section to talk about, but I, the way that I work through guides is I'll write down everything first and then I'll make notes about what it is and what it all does. And then I'll put it in order of the events that we see them. And then when I write it, that's when I cut out all the stuff that like is, presumable um just so just to make sure that sometimes there's something that um is helpful that you come up that you over that you out you uncover it when you are uh reading through all the all the little things to this day i do not understand how the froth soak stacks work on heroic mm. never talked in voice until the last group i raided with pressured me into it quit raiding the week after mm. We have a few people that don't talk in voice, and it's totally fine until there's, like, some mechanic that, like, um, what's an example? Like, Battle of Dazar lore, the, the gnome guy that dropped the mount. Why is his name escaping me? Anyway, um, once every, like, third tier, there's some mechanic that you must say something, otherwise you're just, like, actively making things way harder. But it almost never happens. Most things can be just kind of managed. Have your talking voice. All right. <laughs> Does it count as talking if you sing? <laughs> Hi, Tinker Mechatork. Thank you. That is precisely <laughs> what I was looking for. All I could think of was Gnome King. That one guy with the mount that hasn't dropped for me. As long as you listen to calls, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. When I'm in a like a raid Thank testing group or a pug mean. group, I'll, I'll meet my mic and I'll almost yeah. never. I started speaking up in raid testing like a tiny bit if there was something specific to me um, or something that I thought could like really help. But for the most part, I uh, I will just it's just, it's just easier to <laughs> it's just easier to stay quiet and just follow directions and l let people work it out. I find that sometimes if I do have a suggestion and I contribute it. It doesn't happen every time, but enough times in my life I've said a thing and then no one no one acknowledges it, and that's fine. 
and then someone else says the exact same thing, maybe 10 seconds later, and then everybody goes, oh yeah, that's a great idea, let's do that. <laughs> and that experience is not under my control. It is not anybody's fault, nobody means to do that. But it tilts me enough that I'd rather just not say the thing. <laughs> Because I'm, I'm, because I'm not a big enough person to just let that go. Um, I, I, I will sit on that for like half an hour before it's finished bubbling out of my body. So it's better for me to just not even, or if I do have a suggestion, I'll whisper it to the raid lead so they can decide what to do with it if they want. Um, here we go. Don't blame me. <laughs> it's discouraging. Same. Yeah, maybe it's my voice or my mic or something. Maybe I'm not speaking with enough confidence, but yes, it's, it's, it ha it's happened like... Not all the time. I, nobody's doing this on purpose, but <laughs> enough. Yeah, when when not muted. Sometimes I'm sure I have been muted because I am prone to being accidentally muted. But it does definitely happen when I'm not muted because I've had people whisper me before and be like, "Didn't you just say that?" It is an excellent well. day for <laughs> it's fine. Come fly with us. I had a dude in our guild that refused to install and join Discord. Adamant that in-game chat was sufficient. That is something that will not fly in every group. I'm sure there are raiding groups that can deal with that. It would not work for us. You gotta be able to at least listen to the calls. Did you know you can tame the gorilla? I've seen people with that, yeah. I couldn't tell you my exact excuse for doing this. Something something trading post tender, something something that looked like fun. <laughs> I actually really like the racing world quests. It's funny to me because I thought that I didn't get out of bed to race my mount and for less than 500 gold to race, but it turns out I will do it for 150 or 120 or whatever pittance they give us for these now nowadays. Oh, oopsies. Turn around. We're not doing it for time. If there are achievements nice for doing these races and getting certain ranks on certain difficulties, those are not achievements that I have done. I don't even know what they would give. Should I look? Racing achievements maybe for... Sky riding. So, <laughs> I was Dragon Isles. What about... And then Eastern Kingdoms, Emerald Dream. So there are Isle of Dorne achievements and stuff. Are, is there any reason? Is there any, like... Yeah, there's a the completions achievement. I don't know if they give you anything aside from points, though. I will do it for no gold, but 50 rep. Listen to it in a voice, don't talk. When I get into kids or sleep, wife watching TV in the same room. Yeah, that's fair. Sometimes you gotta be... Sometimes you gotta be quiet. Okay, should I do the special assignment? Maybe we'll make sure I get my keys for the week. Fun world quest helps develop flight skills. It's a fine day with excellent winds. A perfect day for a race. <laughs> underground. Fully underground. I don't think those are the exact words, but you get the idea. Uh, taking candles? Man of achievements for dragon riding is astounding. The day... The unlikely day that I decide that I care about achievement points for their own sake is the day that my life is over. There's just nothing at left after that. There's only World of Warcraft. Plus 15, the contract. Have you been using contracts? Should I be using contracts? I know they were crazy. Ex I checked the contract prices on like day three of the expansion when they were obviously still super inflated. And I have not looked again since. I've just been like, well, they were really expensive a month ago. Guess they must be that way forever. <laughs> They've probably come down. Six 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 on you. Mm. See myself out. <laughs> oh, it's just such a big project. I have like other big projects that I don't feel like I'm ever gonna get close to, like the transmog collecting and even the pet and mount collecting. Actually, I don't even know if I can really argue that I mount collect anymore. I've gotten too lazy about too many different ones. I have, however, picked up the seas bark mount quest. I'm only like. 15 chitin in, but that's 15 chitin more than I had before. I got them from doing some delve or another. <laughs> it was good. Didn't care about achievements until I started to get obsessed with my DFA ranking. Good morning. Good morning, Planeswalker. I hope you're having a lovely day today. 
Today was good because it was dark when I left and it was dark when I came back from yoga. And the reason that's good is because it meant that I didn't have the sun in my eyes <laughs> driving. Um, sometimes if you're heading in one direction for a while and it happens to be in the direction the sun's rising, you are just like blind trying to pilot a vehicle down the street and it's no fun at all. So I prefer the, I prefer, I mean, they're going to mess with the clocks next month, but for a while at least I can get in and out before the sun even comes up. Bright side of the reduced steel light. Yeah. No pun intended. <laughs> Plus it's kind of cool. Um, if I can get a spot like in front of the window, um, to watch the world getting a little brighter over time as you're uh, attempting to practice. They'd attuned to craft contracts. They are like 10k per. I've used one so far this week because I want to get Hallowfall done. Mm. Do either here. We're just doing this for the, the weekly quest. Orsicon Blaze, thank you for the 11 month reason. I'm glad to be back streaming. I'm comfy. Thank you for all your videos. Currently trialing for my first Mythic Guild. And I learned to play the game off your content. Oh, congratulations in advance. It's wonderful. Decreasing daylight affects more than the temperature change. I already miss being able to cycle later in the evening. Yeah. I have lots of stuff that helps me get around still even after it's dark. Like, at a certain point of the year, the dog walks start happening in the dark. And I have, like, a cute little LED light-up collar for my dog. I have, like, reflective vests for myself and my partner to wear. Um, with, like, lights on them so that we don't die to cars. I mean, it's a little gloomy, but, you know, sometimes maybe you'll hear an owl or something. I don't know. There's got to be a bright side. But the cold gets in my bones. Even when I'm, like, warm lots of places. I can be so warm that I'm, like, sweaty in my core and my toes will still be freezing. It drives me nuts. At the end of the day, contracts are probably not worth it. But testing it out now. Hmm. Um, so, Rookery. We're in queue. Are we in queue for long? There we go. Yeah, three minutes. We can head up and around to... I'll do the special assignment after I get out of the dungeon. I think we're making some progress on Traveler's Log, right? Yeah, actually, I did. I got enough Valor Stones to trigger a couple, some points, so I only need 200 more points, which makes me think that maybe... <laughs> I mean, I'll still do this because it's like a weekly quest and we want it, but maybe I should just... <laughs> Literally 0-15. I came out here to do pet battles. Uh, if I do those, that'll get me finished, and then we can go and do our shopping. I like to get all of my tender first, and then and then go shopping. Also, I need more knowledge. That Pacific Northwest wet cold. I did get to dump some Valor Stones. I found... I ended up putting some into a random offhand I had in the bank, not because I thought I was going to use it, but just to A, spend some, and then secondly, if I ever do switch to it... Even if I end up using a different one, I won't need to use crests or something. I don't know, like just to get it upgraded, basically. And then as soon as the month, pardon me, as soon as the week ticked over, I converted all of my baby crests up and I had enough pink crests to actually like upgrade my stuff and take the heat off my Valor Stone. So I'm back down to, well, 1455. <laughs> it's such a weird problem to have. I have more Valor Stones than I can spend. It's so weird. I think it's just because I like to do lots of things on my priest and because um, things like delves and treasures and rares and world quests all give, and you know, keys and raid, it all gives tons of valor stones. And if you do all of it on the one character, you end up with more than you can spend. The problem is when you're trying to gear up a ton of characters and you're splitting that same amount of gameplay among like five characters, then they don't have enough to be getting on with. <sighs> For the snuffle, always change flying style, get those in my mount. Really annoying. Been burning valor stones all day today. Mm. I think snuffle's a really fun word. Sometimes my dog likes to try to bury his toys in the blanket so that he can then like root around in the blanket and then unwrap them. His favorite is if you'll tie them into the blanket for him. But it's really cute because he'll like if nobody will set up the puzzle for him, he'll just try to do it on his own. <laughs> and uh, snuffling is the precisely perfect word for exactly what he's doing when he's just like rooting around in there trying to get a squeaky ball out that he put in there himself. Do you want to keep pushing item level in your priest? I mean, I will get my item level as far as my activities will allow it to go. 
I don't think I will push my activities for the sake of my item level, but like, you know, if my friends invite me to keys, I'm not going to be like, well, no, I won't do a 10 because I'm uh, not doing those, you know, like I'll do kind of whatever people around me want to do and whatever I feel up to doing. And then I'll take whatever vault and flight stones and uh, crests and whatever I get from all of that and get my stuff upgraded as far as I can. What I really need now is really good shadow trinkets. Um, the things I would do for a spy masters, <laughs> but I, even though they have been dropping in raid, I'm a, technically a healer, so I really don't have a good claim to one for raid. Um, and there's just tons of people that want them, so I'm hoping to get one out of vault, but I did not get one this week. Also, 32 year old Pacific Northwest WoW girly, love your content. Well, thank you. <laughs> there are dozens of us. <laughs> Start for Valor Stones until I age out of veteran gear, and now I'm stuck on crests. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think that my gear ceiling is going to be reasonable because of um, because of keys specifically. Because I we are now doing nine keys, maybe not all of them, but we're kind of getting to the point that we're doing those. So we're able to get um, like the stuff we need to upgrade Mythrak gear. We can get the top crest from doing plus nines, and then if you do one plus ten in a week, that'll get your vault one Mythrak item. So like if I'm lucky. And I guess maybe eventually, maybe I'm doing more tens in a week, but that's step? kind of my my path to getting myth track gear. I'm never gonna get it at a, at a raid, and I honestly didn't even really think that I needed myth track gear, and I probably don't. Like I'm sure I can do just fine on hero track four or six stuff. But yeah, you know, if you get it, you get it. I should disenchant those right now. Actually, you know what I should do is I should probably no stop looting things and loot them in the mail after, because I don't want to give them away because they gave me an appearance. Um, things hurt, and I don't like this. And I don't really- I think I forgot to pick up an item that would let me fall. So I'm just kind of, um, levitating my way down here. Fortified weeks would still be better for push weeks. I Great. am inclined to agree. I also... was thinking about my thoughts on- Oh, there's a sentence for you. I was reflecting on the new Zalatoth affix that we have this week, the one where she summons a lady. I guess like an, an image of her that you have to kill to get the healing done and cooldown buff. And I think it's my second favorite one. I think it's in the middle. I don't like it as much as the Orby thing we had in the first week. That was great. Um, but I like it better than the Orby thing that we had last week, which I did not care for. That one's... that one was no good. <laughs> did not... did not like. Crying Zero control. out of ten. Too much running around. Too much... too easy to miss them. I think getting dangerously through the mail is a strat now. It's a strat for socially anxious people like me that don't have the backbone to not give people loot if they ask for it. Um, I only want it for transmog and to disenchant it for a shard. And in my mind, if somebody's actually going to wear it, I probably should give it to them if they ask me for it. Even though, obviously, I don't have to, but like, I feel kind of, kind of bad for not. So um, if I wanted to avoid that situation, I would just leave the loot on the ground and then get in the mail later yeah. after I've left the group. <sighs> Not a real strat, just a just a social strat. <laughs> Crowd control. Least favorite so far. The ad always seems to show up at the end of packs. The reason I'm okay with that is because the healing taken is nice, but the cooldown reduction is the real juice. So assuming that I used my cooldowns and I like take extra care during the cooldown reduction buff week to like just send them. Um, when you get the ad at the end of the pack, your cooldowns start running down so fast that even if it takes you 30 seconds to run to the next pack, you might almost have your two minutes back. Um, I've upset people. So that's... I mean, it does suck to be like hanging around still killing it when everything else is dead instead of cleaving. I'm not sure if it actually makes you faster in that respect, but... <sighs> I, I like the cooldown reduction a lot, and I find myself using my cooldowns a lot with it, and I did need them. I will say, I don't know what happens if the lady finishes her cast. I don't know what happens if, what is it, Dark Prayer gets off? No clue. It's a long cast time, so probably something bad. <laughs> I know that as long as it persists, there's some kind of a benefit to the mobs. Especially when it's with area denial. Oh, the collect orb thing. Yeah, no, that was bad. Totally forgot to go back to the trading post last month. Oh no! Are you gonna get the Thrall GPS voice pack? I, I I looked at that headline and I'm like, do people use ways? Or is there? Am I silly? And there's like some reason that I can. Um, how do you do it? 
We will have to go down. Am I supposed to jump? I'm right jumping. Away. We have to take it down. I was supposed to jump. <laughs> I never come in here. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of a Google Maps girly. Uh, maybe it's something that you can plug into that. But uh, I don't know. You get used to it. You get used to Google Maps and the robot lady voice. There's a downtown street called Quadra, and she always says Quadra, and I always, I've gotten to the point that she's trained me now that every time I get to that street, which is pretty often, it's like right downtown, um, before she's even had a chance to say it, I'll go Quadra Street like a duck. Crowd control. It's not Quadra Street. Quadra Street's Quadra. <laughs> it's also not a super great place on all lengths of it. There are definitely some blocks that you don't want to go um, on your own if you can avoid it. Ways tells you the location of police, that's why it's great. Oh. Google has been doing I don't know about like police stations and stuff, although I'm sure they could do that, but they've been letting me know um recently when there's like a like a speed trap or like a cop car up ahead. This morning I drove past um, a couple of cop cars that looked like they pulled each other over. Maybe they must have been waiting for something. But it was just two of them lined up with their lights on, with nobody in sight. <laughs> it was very strange. Stacking damage bonus for mobs. Eventually, you just can't one shot. You can't out heal it. Okay. All right, I'm gonna exit out of here real quick. Switch to ways this week just because of the voice pack. <laughs> Thrall told me I sang well at the camp last night and has a peace bloom elixir if I'm exhausted for the festivities. Oh, that's cute. That's really nice. Thank you. Make sure I tag that. Very good. Okay. Disenchant a couple of things. I find that I get my disenchant knowledge really early in the week because I'll just sit on like five or six pieces of gear at the end of the week and then I'll just leave them in my bags and Tuesday I'll come around and I'll just log on and disenchant all of them and get all my knowledge that way. Okay. Let's maybe... Oh, I'm already back in Shadow for spec. That's nice. Two more of these awakened elementals. We had a similar thing in Denver for Wadsworth Avenue. For some reason, she once pronounced it as Wadsworth. <laughs> We've called it that since. <sighs> in uh, Oregon, there's a there's a suburb, Tualatin, that she used to say Tualatin. <laughs> it's not that funny, but I'm easily entertained. I guess I don't know. I thought it was funny. <laughs> I would also do that one. One more awakened elemental. Like Tulalip Resort? Space. Yeah, something like that, I guess. And Casino. <laughs> I don't know where Tulalip is, but I'm pretty sure at some point in my life I've been shown an ad for Resort and Casino. Oh, water good. Water very good. I'm a very hard done by millennial this morning. I skipped my coconut water. <laughs> I had one in the fridge. I just never, never made the time to get it out. I have to save it for Friday. It's down here. Mm. Lovely greetings from Venezuela. Greetings. I hope you're having. Oh, that was very squeaky. I hope you're having a lovely day today. Life is hard sometimes. I know, right? <laughs> oh, with uh, great power comes great hardships and other mis misplaced Spider-Man quotes that are not correctly said. I'm doing this for pet charms and then I'm going to give up on my world quest crusade for a little bit because I don't need to be doing them. Also I chronically just do world quests from Dornagal on Ringing Deeps or the Isle of Dorn in Ringing Deeps so I never end up with any rep for Hallow Vault because I never make it that far down. Um, I should do pet battles, get my tender and then see if I'm gonna buy anything. I was thinking of buying the pet. There's like a little shale wing baby that was only 200 tender. And I thought it looked kind of cute, even though we have those, but you know, is is pet, could get. How much tender do I have in general? I have 855 saved actually. Um, I saved last month. I've been, I've been hoarding it whenever there's not something that I really need, because I know that sooner or later, 
There's going to be something that I really need. Hazel, remember you did a backflip and then jumping around house kick on stream? That's how I open every day. <laughs> Sounds like me. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I'm sore today. Oh man. My wrists have been feeling it. It's like the triple combo of um, doing more gaming, like Mythic Plus and raids. Walking my dog, who sometimes sees something that he wants and then will lunge for it, and he's very strong. He's pretty good, but every now and then you gotta kinda hold him back. And then um, there's some pressure on the wrist in yoga as well. It shouldn't be that much, and I should be supporting my wrist with muscles by engaging, and I'm trying. But it's like a triple whammy lately. <laughs> the forearm gaming soreness, yeah. These are just so crunchy. They just make so many sounds, and I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, man. Oh. If you missed that stream, you should watch the VOD. Backflips. Heaven help me the day that I finally get to doing proper backbends. It's gonna be... It's gonna, it's gonna be something. Or headstands. It feels like everybody else in the room when I'm at the yoga studio is like... They've been there... They're either teachers themselves, and some of them are, or they've been there for like 15 years, and they're doing the most incredible things. And I'm looking around, I mean, I'm not really looking around because I'm shy and also, you know, eyes to myself, and also I'm not wearing my glasses, so I can't see anything anyway, but like, I'm listening to people doing all these things and talking about that. I'm like, nope. <laughs> no, thank you. I don't think so. Not that anybody's asking me to do it yet. I'm like nowhere close, but uh, that's, that's, that's gonna be a day. I am disenchanting that. 100% of the people there went to a first class once, which is mind blowing. Um, bananas. There's plenty of people that are like really advanced yoga practitioners that started in their 30s and 40s and 50s. And I'm trying to remind myself of that every time that I feel like I'm too creaky and old to be a beginner. <laughs> There's uh, no better time, no better time to be doing it. I'm just in a weird phase where I've been going long enough that I feel like I shouldn't be a beginner anymore, but I've definitely not been going long enough to not be a beginner anymore. I've only been going for like two months. And with something like this, you're gonna be very new to it for like a year or two. You're not expected to get through primary series in an overnight or anything. Oh, hey, there's enchanting knowledge. All right, let's go Stormwind Day. Eh? Sound good? Do I remember where, where Stormwind is here? There it is. It's your rookie year. Exactly. <laughs> I need to remember that. I taped my practice at home the other day so I could watch it back and I was horrified. I thought I was so good and I'm not. I saw a bunch of things that I was doing that I had no idea that I was doing. Parasailing behind a moose. Yeah, dog skiing. <laughs> One of my fitness goals is to be able to do a real pull-up before I turn 50. So I have some time. <sighs> How profitable has enchanting been so far? Debating whether to start leveling my outfit as enchanting. It's been very good. It's been very strong. Um, I only really bother making things with concentration, but every time that I do dump concentration, I'll make 10 to 15k profit per enchant, and I'll do two or three of them at once. Um, so it's been not very much work, and it's been very effective. I think there are things that I could make, even without concentration, that would be good at this point, but yeah, no time. No time like the present. Um, what kind of a team do I want here? Do I have just a good beast team? Or any beast team? Which ones of you guys are cute? I want a Silithid mini tank going on here. I wonder why. Is he fast or something? No. Doesn't really matter. <sighs> Concentration margin's big. Resourcefulness margin's small. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, although I've only just recently started specking into Shattering, which has been helpful. It's been good. I just have to remember to Shatter in essence before I even... I should be doing it before I even do any patron orders, because it gives you a ton of resourcefulness, and sometimes you can, like, steal their their regents by getting procs on them. Kind of nice. <sighs> Plus, uh, crystalline powder is very cheap. 
it doesn't it's not hard to shatter one of those and I don't think you get any different benefit from shattering a, a more expensive thing with all these games being made into TV series do you think wow would be a good TV show I'm sure it could be done um, I don't think it could be done in a way that I would be too interested but I'm awful and I don't watch good TV <laughs> hi Hazel hi how you doing I am queen of adding things to my watch list and then not watching them unless they are reality or documentary. I just want to watch actual people make poor choices. <laughs> Did you get that hand mount? I have not. I don't think I will. I have lots of hand mounts from Shadowlands. I don't really think it's worth it for me to spend that much tender getting another one but i haven't been shopping yet so i'm gonna finish i'm gonna get my tender and this is the last thing i need to do for it and then we shall go shopping i think even though there is a trading post in starmon i'm gonna go to the dornigal one because it's just so it's just so new and fancy totally forgot brewfest was happening need to start killing dire brew have one of the mounts but not both hmm. you don't need all the mounts i can't afford all the mounts i think it's impossible to get all of the mounts so I have let go of getting all of the mounts. Um, I get most of the pets, but not all of the pets. And then I just get things if I really want them. I feel like that's a good philosophy to have. Um, I think it's really hard to guarantee that you'll be able to complete anything from the trading post. So for me, the better attitude to have is just kind of what makes me, what would make me really happy to have? What would I really enjoy using and having out with me and then choosing based on that? Because you're never going to get anything, get everything. Left the trading post, one of the best things Blitz has done. Just got Anixia after my 98th try, give or take. Congratulations! I have all these prestige dramas and fantasy shows to watch, and I just ignore them and watch reality TV or baking competitions or just rewatch Taskmaster. <laughs> yeah. I have not seen the most two, the, the two most recent seasons of Taskmaster, and I'm saving them for when I get really depressed. <laughs> Like one day I'm going to be having, I'm going to be in the middle of like next year's tax season or something and I'm going to be having a bad day and I'm going to be like, you know what I need? Alex! Greg! There is a new thing from Brewfest. There is a cosmetic back piece. It looks a lot like the shield that they added last year. It is called the, I shall show you. Uh, back? Homebrew. It is the Home Brewer Sampling Mantle. It is 200 Dire Bre or Brewfest tokens. You can get Brewfest tokens pretty easy by visiting the bar tab barrels around Kazalgar and Dragonflight, as well as doing dailies at regular Brewfest. You can get it in one day, and that's what I did. That is the only new thing this year, but if you didn't catch up last year, there's also a shield that looks a lot like that. I made a point to go get it, but I don't know if I'll ever wear it in my life. Great British Bake Off is the best baking show. Changed my mind. I can't. I don't even really try to watch other baking shows because uh, it's just not the same. Finally got the dragon thing they added last year. Feels good to be back to 100%. Mm, nice. How are we doing here? Three more. It's a cool shield. Yeah. Be, be a neat thing for a brewmaster. Or if you were just very into beer you could you could be a plate wearing or like a shield using character that has both you could stick one on your back and on your shield i wish cool bear forms for a druid were easier to get i like that there's a lot of them i like the idea of being able to find like one and get it and just use that one and have that one be like your bear form how long it took you to adjust to the gamepad? Bought one yesterday, so unnatural for me so far. It definitely takes a while. It's definitely not overnight. Um, something that I do for that, or that I did for that, is to bind things just one row at a time. Three, maybe six keybinds. Don't bind the whole thing at once. And if possible, for a while to help you get used to it, if you can make a character of a class that you're not familiar with, or a spec that you're not familiar with, and level it so you can kind of add the buttons to your bars one by one and not get them all at once, but just kind of like get one button at a time and get used to the, the keybinds for it. Um, that can kind of help your fingers learn which ones are which. 
and that's that's what I that's what I did originally. Same thing for switching back to a keyboard as I I made a class that I didn't usually play and I leveled it for a little bit until I remembered where my buttons were. Okay, I don't need to fight that because we're going back to the Isle of Dorne. Should I use my Hearthstone? May as well. My cat and my dog have both abandoned me today. They're around, they're just not in here. <laughs> this morning I came out of the bathroom after my shower and Moose was sleeping real cute and I said, Bubby! And then Kitty, Kira, stood up on the couch and went, Meow! Like, what about me? So I went over to pet her for a while because she has a point. It's very easy to give Moose a lot of attention because he's very big <laughs> and he's everywhere. Hope they're having a cuddle party. It's so funny to watch them interact with each other. They're so funny. They have a system for when she's eating in that he will go join her when she's eating. He'll hear her from across the apartment and be like, oh, cat's eating, gotta go. And then he'll lay down maybe one to two feet from her. And then whenever she drops a kibble on the ground, which she does because she doesn't have that many teeth, so she kind of has to like chuck them back up into her mouth and she likes to take them out of the bowl and eat them over the floor. She usually makes a big mess. But whenever she drops one, he will watch it, wait to see if she's going to eat it, because sometimes she does, and then the second that she shows that she's not eating it, he'll sneak in, stretch out his tongue like an anteater, and pick up that little cat kibble. Because he knows he's allowed to eat them off the ground, but not out of her bowl. Uh, so he waits for her to drop them, and then cleans up as she's eating. It's so funny. Um... Dogs shouldn't really eat cat kibble, but he's only getting like a couple of pieces here and there, and they're they're very they're very small, so I don't I don't worry about it too much. All right, I got some halifa. Oh yeah, that's right, the trading post. I knew I was here for a reason. A plus entertainment sounds like my food scavenging as a grad student. <laughs> You're just under someone's coffee table, be like, are you gonna drop something? He does that too. He'll he'll fall asleep under the coffee table while we're eating dinner. Sometimes like he'll be camped out waiting for crumbs, and then he'll just pass out there because he's so tired. Trading post. Over here. Also, uh, you like my transmog? We made this one last week after we got the candle shoulders. I thought they went nicely with the warlock robe. Uh, the belt needs some work. I don't think the belt's right, but uh, the warlock robe and then a little priest crown from a different set. And then I've got my, my candle buddy who's like half the size of my gnome. <laughs> Candle Queen. All right, one depth stalker for me. I do like it when they give me a mount as a free one because it saves me having to buy it. They're typically pretty expensive. <sighs> and it's fine. It's a jellyfish. Cool if anybody didn't have one yet. I know a lot of people didn't play Shadowlands or maybe skip Zareth Mortis. If I look type, family, none. Where do, we, where do jellies land here? This is a good taxonomic question. They're not mollusks. Oh, oh, they have their own thing. So I have a list of jellyfish. So I also have the fathom dweller, the surf jelly. Those are more like the Najatar model. The hive mind, which is its own thing. And then I have three of these. So we've got Deep Star Orlid from Hiracon. We've got um, the Zareth Mortis Meta Achievement Mount. And then this is the new one. Hmm. It's pretty similar to the Hiracon Mount, but not exactly. Uh, that model was hard to get before this. Why are pet battles so hard? Oh, um, I don't know. But I will say, I learned everything I know from there. <laughs> Everything that makes pet battles easy for me can be found on that website. How much tender do I have? I have 1,855. I have this mount frozen. I do like it, but I think I'm not going to purchase it because they want 800 tender for it, and I have a red one now. I like the purple color better, but I've had enough time. I think I'll still leave it frozen unless there's something that seems really important. Oh, I like this little graphic. I don't know. I just... I'm, I'm real stingy with my tender nowadays. So there's this, which admittedly looks phenomenal on my gnome. 
That's so funny. It's 800 tender. Comes with a back piece? Yeah, it comes with a back piece. <laughs> Little scrappy looking reclaimed palette thing. Great and undead. Yeah. Um, there's this mount. I'm gonna skip that. I don't need it. I have lots of hand mounts. I never ride them. They don't even fly. Great for scaring, bad for planting. Uh, parasol, no thank you. I was thinking about maybe this thing. I might bring that home with me. Kind of... Can I say cute with a straight face? Eh, that's not the like the toothy. Um, let's unhide her armor, shall we? There we go. And then maybe not do the combat animation so she can stay a little still. That's on by default. Pets only two hundred. Yeah, it's pretty affordable. They tend to set, they tend to put them for more when they're um, more unique or individual. That one's a recolor from Dragonflight, so maybe that's why. Well, that's kind of nice. I like the um, the styling of it without it being too. Honestly, it's like <laughs> very old looking. And then they have it in a different color as well. Those are cool, but I I tend to use really minimal bows on my hunter so that I don't overwhelm her transmog. And gloves. They kind of look nice with this transmog, actually. But. A white or a black skirt. I wish these were cheaper. <laughs> 100 is uh, not unreasonable, but a little too much for me. Lantern, wand, wand, boots, boots. And then for returning, more parasols, an extra hat. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take the pet and call it a month. I'm going to save more, because you never know when they're going to add a month. I mean, this is amazing. But I don't think I'm going to wear it. And I don't think I'm going to wear any of the pieces from it. It would be kind of cute to mix and match the shoulders with some of the really old-fashioned, like, that torn brown robe with the super deep V. Might be kind of cool, but it's not for 800. That's okay. Give me my, give me my little pet. <laughs> I'll take it. Plus, I would feel bad if I didn't buy anything. Don't forget to bring a towel. Love the traffics and scars, but they definitely add up on tender. For a while, I was buying lots of them, and then at a certain point, I realized I wasn't really mogging them, especially the opera gloves. I like them in concept, but I never mog them in practice. Soot stained shale wing. So there's my new pet. Oh, it's pretty big, actually. <laughs> Sometimes I look at pets like this, and I'm like, my gnome could ostensibly ride that as a mount. It would be a little small, but... Um, I hereby name the... I wish there's a random name generator for these things. Mm. Hey, Smokey! I must have a pet called Smokey already. I have Lil Smokey, Big Smokey, Medium Smokey. Mm. Yeah, you can be Smokey. That's fine. You're not a bear, but it'll do. <laughs> Are you saving anything good? I'm I'm probably just gonna leave that fish in the frozen spot again, even though it's pretty obvious I'm not going to buy it at this point. I guess I could move the harvester golem set to the free spot instead, but I don't think I'm actually going like I could buy it now if I wanted to. I've got eighteen hundred tender. I think I'm just gonna let all of that go and wait for something that like really really speaks to me. I've seen things that would scare hmm. you shellless. Frozen fish, frozen fish. It's been frozen for a while, it's getting a little questionable in there. It's a bit freezer burnt. I like this. I'm gonna buy it an upgrade stone so I can uh, I can get it caught up. But I will take a short break, I'll be right back. My dog is in one of his other beds and he is so out. <laughs> he's, he's down so hard. 
Nothing like a napping dog to just look like they've just given up on existing. Just what? <laughs> Deflated. Okay, I did it. I have got my trading post done. I got a couple of um, weekly chests as well, so I think I got some keys for the week. That's nice. Could probably stand to do a few more. How's my Hollowfall rep? Am I at 14 yet? I am at 14. I can get some herbalism knowledge. As well as maybe like a key or valor stones or something. <laughs> I have, I end up, um, I had two little packs of a hundred valor stones each. And I put both of them in my bank because I didn't want to open them because I'm so scarred from being so close to valor cap that I want to save them for like a really rainy day when I really need them. So I bet you anything, I'm going to totally forget that I have them. And the expansion's going to end. I'm going to be like, oops, <laughs> I never used those. So, one part of me wants to... I want to go get the rest of my, um... I need another alchemy treasure from treasures, so let's get that. We can also probably do, like, lights blooming. Or at least some of it. And that would be a good thing to do, too. Wow, there's a ton of caches. So those respawn, eh? For some reason, I thought I was going to be fixing those every week. <laughs> or, like, I was going to be fixing my map by getting them out of the way once, and then they wouldn't come back every week. But what are you going to do? Maybe we go start and on. I'll just go ahead. Just do some world quests. I feel like I opened a can of worms learning jewel crafting. I find that my professions definitely um, take a lot of gold before they start giving me gold. It's a lot of spending before I get to any earning. I got back from the dentist and it turns out anxiety about numbing wearing off actually makes it wear off faster. Oh dear. Massive gem in the Hellifall map. That is Belladar. That's a Belladar indicator. It's from some add-on or another. So am I Weaver Pacted? I'm pretty sure I'm Weaver Pacted. Yeah, general. So I could stand to do treasures. I feel like maybe one of my add-ons has only just recently caught on to some of these things, or maybe I haven't gotten around to it. Yeah. When in doubt, I like to try to do world quests for this, because you only, you only need like four of them. Hmm. <sighs> You want to see the mount that I got from the Weaver? You might have seen it already if you've done this, but uh, I think it's called the Undercrawler, and I will say if you are arachnophobic, I would uh, tab out of the stream for a second. I will uh, let you know when the bad spider's all gone. <laughs> it's kind of crab-like, right? Doesn't it look like a crab? Oh, he dances! Oh, it's, I mean, it's not cute if you don't like spiders, but if you're into them... <laughs> <laughs> what about what about he's walking? It's a lot of legs, not as spidery as I wanted. The front claws ve read very crab to me, even without being in crab mode. Um, wanted a classic one, like the uh, the gold sink one. Those are pretty cool. I'm glad I have that. Not everybody is, but <laughs> I'm glad that I have it. Tommy boy, thank you for the five month reason. Oh yeah, that's right. I needed the Nerubian stuff. Ajka Head is the last zone that I have not yet done the treasure hunting achievement for. It is an excellent day for I don't know if I'll do it today, but at some point. Sounds like a fun thing to do on stream. I want to get as much zone completion for the new expansion zones as possible on all the things. And I'm happy to spend like a year's worth of streams doing it. It sounds like fun. You ever get a bug where your mount favorite didn't give a flying one? Not usually when it should have. Um, sometimes it'll give me an underwater mount if my toes are damp. If I'm standing in like half an inch of water, it'll be like, you know what you need is a swimming mount. And it'll put me on one and then it'll immediately despawn because like... I'm not in enough water to swim. It's not the fountain in Siege of Borealis. I did like two more siege keys last night and then another one like at the end of last week. For the dungeon that I struggle with from a vertical perspective. I do spend a lot of time there. We've done a lot of it. 
I do love the voice acting at the end of Siege of Borealis because you're fighting the goth and uh, the guys that are like, um, you know, wrapped up in the tentacles are all doing things like, don't let this beast eat me. And uh, what else does he say? He says, he's, he's got a funny one. Help! <laughs> For some reason, something about the Kul Tirid just going, help! <laughs> it's so funny to me! Because he's just like, oh no, on the tentacle, get this thing off me! Help! <laughs> it just kills me every time. I'm a terrible person. It's like, oh no, it's gonna eat me. Sounds exactly like the students in Peril and Lego Harry Potter. I crack up every time. I'm glad it's not just me. I've had a lot of- I mean, honestly, a lot of the voice acting- Wow, you got here really fast. Um, I'm checking out a transmog. Let me see. What on God's green earth? <laughs> that is a winner. <laughs> this, is, this is a- this is what we mean when we talk about flabby mugs. Stunning. Uh, fish weapon, I can check it out. The fish weapon is... The Riptide Gut Puncher. Riptide gut puncher. Yeah, no one no one can do it quite like Flash. <laughs> Some maximum fit if I've ever seen one. Rocking some DC sheep. One of my favorites is the ogre in Deep Home that dangles off of the griffin. <laughs> oh, I remember that, but I don't remember exactly how he says it. But I know it was funny. Is it a breadboard? Yeah, there's like a chopping, like a cutting board um, mace that he's using, I think. <laughs> Any... Are these treasures really that easy for the treasures of Ajkahet? There's just- they're just out? Are they really that easy? Maybe I should, uh, loot more of them. Hmm. Yeah, Seizure Borealis in general is a real treat for the voice acting because the accents on the Borealis NPCs are just so much. <laughs> There's so much. Hot fix all the ones that took a while to respawn to treasures. Should be easy peasy. Oh. Once again, procrastination pays off. Uh, looks like we're going in here. The line that gets me this season is Foolish Paragon. What's that one from? I don't recognize that one. <laughs> is it from Stonefall? <laughs> How much am I at for the Nerubian Kite? 40 of 1500. I think it'll take me, what, like a month maybe of just kind of casually playing like normal with no extra activities whatsoever. To, to get the to get that part of the mount line. Actually, I don't know what else is involved. If there's more of the mount quest lane after that point, but you'd think that fifteen hundred would be enough. Mm, yeah, we can go get that one too. I mean, if I only need four more treasures, maybe I'll just finish this achievement. I don't see why not. It seems like a good idea. Is there in-world quests, actually? If I look at this, I'm getting distracted. I need worm sign sealed delivered for, for worm theory. <gasps> it's up. I need to do that world quest. Okay. I'm going to get a pet. I'm going to get a pet. Um, Treasure first, world quest first. Treasure first. It's closer. Hold, hold the presses. Everybody, everybody, hold on. 
big things happening. I never would have known about that achievement if it wasn't for the fact that it gets tagged to the very top of all the things when I open up the mini list. Did I miss a part of the story? Why there's so much Nazoth stuff this expansion? Um, I don't know about Nazoth specifically, but I think Zalatath is, is a very void, void, she's a void girl. Woman, void lady. <laughs> void aligned. Um, oh. Oh. Collect colored silk scrap. Okay, how many? Oh, it's gonna give me a toy, though. Break out a spinning wheel to dye a slew of Nerubian spools. Okay. If only you knew which colors made up the correct combination. Okay, so there's an answer. Related to the nearby treasure. Tell the darn Shadow Priest fault. Should have left her in the blade. I thought I was sticking her in my bank. <laughs> One of three. Does the does the order matter? Hmm. I think one trend with WoW villains is that um, they tend to be a little bit more popular when they're hot. Uh, and I will point to both Zalatath and Sire Denathrius, and to a lesser extent Arthas as proof of this. <laughs> when contrasted with villains that are maybe more tentacle based, or maybe more just like angry as a personality, um, the sexy ones tend to do very well. Not just wow, Illidan. There you go. Yeah, you know, if you're if you're not sure if your villain's really hidden right, just take 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 the shirt off. <laughs> That's just true in general. You mean to tell me you don't fight? That's true. Zaval was also shirtless. Um, I couldn't tell you. He's definitely somebody's type. Web vandal spinning wheel. All right, I got a toy. What does it look like? Holy moly, that's a lot going on. <laughs> I should use that one in raid. They knew exactly what they were doing with the Nathrius. Hot villains need to be slain by hot heroes. I like it when villains have personalities that seem to extend beyond either angry or arrogant. A lot of villain personalities tend to land pretty squarely in one of those two camps, so it's cool whenever you get one that's not like that. Um, I'm not... I can't think of any examples right now, but <laughs> there's got to be some. What am I doing this for? Hello. I'm considering the missive. What do you want? Stray shipment coated silks. Maybe that had to do with the other thing. Oh no, it's it's for this. I'm not gonna worry about that. We're doing the worm thing. You know what? I love Flynn Fairwind, or whatever is his name. I think that's exactly his name. Daddy D gone too soon. So is he like dead dead or can we get him back? <laughs> Haven't fully forgiven Sylvanas, but I can understand why she was the evil witch she was. Villain for the fun of it. I mean, what if we have a villain that's only a villain from our perspective? What if it's somebody who's like, I don't know, anxious and unsure and just trying to do their best, but in the process of trying to <laughs> juggle the needs of highly disparate people? They, uh, I mean, it might be a little too meta, but <laughs> they end up doing the worst possible thing and they need to be opposed. Uh, may maybe not that compelling. Nobody wants to fight a villain who's going, um, uh, uh, I don't know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> You're fighting a boss, they're just like, I didn't mean it. <laughs> it seemed like a good idea. They told me it was going to be a tax break. Yeah. Um, kind of what Ilden ended up being. A misunderstood villain doing his own version of saving the universe. True, actually. That's that's a very good example. This is a great transmog, too. But I don't know the first thing about writing any kind of characters, so <laughs> I'm, I get to, I get to sit here in my uh, 
my high horse and make stuff up. Doesn't have to mean anything. It's great. Haha. <laughs> Wait, what? No so I got little Bone Chewer, which is a new pet for doing the Worm Theory quest, or achievement, which requires you to do three different worm-related quests down here. But then I also got Mr. Muskoxiles, who I kind of thought I already had. I guess that was my 1800th pet. That was pet number 1800? Cool! I did not know that this is new. I kind of thought I had one already. I did not. Congratulations to me! Congrats, why thank you. How does Inksy become the next big wow villain? She specs Oracle and then um, everybody looks at her and they run away screaming because she's terrifying looking. Mm. Ah. So when BFA raids, feeling nostalgic for the expansion, it was fun for me. Yeah. It's a great the mog in there too. Gods infests this area. What was the worst X pack for transmog? Show Just like, in general, unquantified. <laughs> I'm trying to think. My mind immediately goes to the really old ones. So like, BC. And then, for me, Wrathmog kind of missed the bill with most things. Like, a few of the sets were really nice, but a lot of Wrathmog, especially like Dungeon and Questmog, was very, like, gritty and kind of grim. There was a lot of brown and gray going on. And a lot of, like, full coverage, neck-to-toes robes. And, uh... It's <laughs> not the way I like to dress my characters. BFA pretty lacking because of lack of tier sets, but the world gear wasn't bad. Mm. But Wrath did have some really nice tier sets. It was just that outside of that, there was it was it was maybe on the whole probably the the bottom one for me. Mog wise. No tier sets decision was strange in BFA. Oh, is he green? I I heard my dog do something. Yeah, I'm sure they had reasons, but we were definitely happy to get him back. Trial of the Crusader, tier 9, still one of my favorites across classes. Same with Wad, good tier sets, but terabad questing and dungeon sets. Oh, but I liked those. Remember the cloth set that's got the robe that's just like two towels and then like an extra one over your shoulder for the beach? And then also the, um, Wad had the, the bunker sets. Remember, like, the dwarven bunker? And there must have been a horde equivalent. Um, they had, like, a set for each armor type. And that gave me my druid harness. <laughs> the, the, the chest strappy thing for the leather set. Hi, Hazel. Hi, folks. Hi, Nordenheim. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Or failing that, a serviceable day will do. Sometimes we have to settle for mediocre at best. Oh, today's pretty good, though. Mm. Not bad, thanks. How are you? I am good. I'm good. These today's trick is going to be energy management. Because yesterday, I feel like all day, especially like after maybe 11 o'clock, I was just like, tired. And half an hour go by, and I'm like, tired. But I didn't want to nap because I wanted to get to bed early so I could get up early, which I did. I successfully did both of those things. But uh, now I'm kind of right back at it where it's like, I should do at least some stuff this afternoon. But I can't do it if I go to bed. Oh, but if I don't, I've got raid tonight. And I am sometimes kind of a pill trying to get through a three hour raid when I'm really asleep. Love this month's training post. Last month was a little meh. I was able to save some tender last month and this month. I got a pet. I got the the shale wing pet, and I named him Smokey. And I'm glad I did, actually, because apparently if I hadn't done that, I wouldn't have just gotten my 1800 pet collecting meta pet, so that's something. Did I do that quest? I must have done. But yeah, at this point I'm saving for, like, a really cool trading post. Which is unlike me. Usually I'm very trading tender poor. Ride the Shrouded Sky Silk. Where? Where? Maybe up. Up might make sense. Oh, it's a documenting quest. I like these ones. To keep an eye on the deeps. 
Fly over the area to document I am somewhere in the neighborhood of... How much tender do I have? 1655, that's right. It's gonna say 1800, but that's before I spent some. I have 1655. And that's where I'll, what I'll have going into next month. Nice. Gotta save up for those anniversary buys. Honestly, a lot of the stuff that they showed for the anniversary, I didn't really want either. <laughs> but eventually, they, they have a way of making stuff, especially transmog sets for the trading post, that are very expensive and very attractive to me. So it'll, it'll, it'll pay off eventually. I'm going to have faith that the saving is good. I am obligated to tell everyone that Fat Bear Week starts this Friday. If you haven't ever heard of it, it's a wonderful thing. Is it, uh, is it safe for work? What are, what are we saying? <laughs> what kind of bears are we talking about here? <laughs> um, waiting for a cool mount. Mm -hmm. Very safe for work. Okay. Actual bears. The monstrosities brewing. Hey, we doing? Eighty percent. One more world quest. These notes are in this should be reasonable. Give me some gold. Oh, it's a photo contest by the U.S. National Park Service voting on who the fattest bear is with some great pictures. Oh, I mean, it's kind of like a bear achievement contest because if you think about it, the bear's greatest goal in life at this time of year is to get as fat as they possibly can. So, like, a really fat bear is just killing it. You know, they're professionally successful. <laughs> they're doing a good job. I've watched enough nature documentaries to have seen that apparently bears and other animals, they don't just, like, wake up as a baby and know how to do things like fish for salmon they have to suck at it and starve for like years until they get the hang of it which is very relatable and um and it makes me even more impressed when they are really good because that bear put the work in they did not just know that i have this bias where i just kind of assume that anything that an animal does just kind of came naturally to it the first time because it's an animal and it's like not true <laughs> uh pickles 919 thank you for the 40 month resub National Parks put up kind of a sweet 16 bears. Hoping they'd big bring back the broom. Mm. Hmm. Sometimes I wish that my species hibernated. I'm sure that winter's worth living through <laughs> and that there's like nice things that will happen. You know, holidays and Christmases and birthdays and whatnot. But like... Um... I can see the appeal of just getting real snugged up in a cave somewhere, you know, and uh, eating a bunch of noodles, taking a big nap. See you guys in May. I don't even think the bears nap until May. It's just when the weather starts actually turning around <laughs> instead of just pretending like it's going to turn around. Wake me up when the snow melts and the roads are clear. Favorite cold day meal. I like chili. Chili's up there, um, with like a nice crusty sourdough bread. It's pretty good. Chowder? <laughs> That's a good one too. Good smoked salmon chowder. That's a long nap, man. I'm gonna try to sleep through summer hot and gross. I really hope I can one day get into a place with a heat pump. I don't know if I can. We'll have to see. Um, I've got to talk to some people about that, but it would be nice. Otherwise, I'm probably just going to end up with, like, uh, air conditioning units again. Either mounted in the windows or, like, with a hose that you kind of put up to your window. Because, uh, you know, it gets hot in the summer sometimes. We got, we got pets over here. What's your favorite cold day meal? It's got to be something... I mean, it doesn't have to. It can be anything you want. But something stew-related. I feel like I want, like, thick hearty, nourishing s stew, but like, you know, for me, it's either vegetarian or seafood. Uh, whatever, whatever floats your boat, Speak whatever floats your, your bread. Your <laughs> uh -huh. I got a toy unlocked. I've spent a great deal of cash. I came out here on my hunter and I pulled a bunch of cash from my priest to shop with and I did a lot of shopping. So I could get, that's a toy. Eh, 
That doesn't sound that fun. I did get a hearthstone as well. I got the... Is it on my bar here somewhere? Yeah. I got the... the the Notorious Thread Hearthstone. And then I bought the Weaver thing for it, but like, I don't notice a difference. Really? Didn't seem to make any difference. I don't think there's anything else I can do. What? Chowda. Now I need to rewatch Clone High. <laughs> Norwegian rice porridge with cinnamon, sugar, dot of a butt. Bought profession books and basically nothing else for my cash. I also got profession books and then, and then I was like, well, but pets. <laughs> There was a really cute one. Did I get jump jump? I feel like I had to. I did get jump jump. This was very important. Because he's literally just going like... Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> he's a baby. <laughs> Look at him, he's a baby. It's the most anime thing I've ever seen. <sighs> Now that I'm doing Pet World Quest, I think I need to get, like, rematch and stuff. Yeah. All the things in the anniversary pouch. Most excited for the war bag fix for orders. <sighs> okay. I did my Weaver's Pack. That was very good. I guess I'll go turn this in. Let's see if this gives me anything. Something about beetles. Incredibly annoying to have to make a new team by hand every time. I bet it is. Yeah, the first time I went around doing all those world quests, it was a little annoying getting my remat, like finding a team and then attaching a script. But now that I have it set up, I love Pet Battle World Quest because I can just swing by it, button mash my way through it. Quick and easy. Very good. I have a lot of keys. I have 13 restored coffer keys. <laughs> and I don't know if I'll ever get caught up. Sometimes Flabby asks me if I want to use my keys now or if maybe save them for later because sometimes there's a good reason to and I'm like, listen, those are good ideas. I personally will never run out of keys because I don't do enough delves. But I do seem to keep up with the world stuff, so maybe that's just what's fun for me. Do you have questions? Okay, well, what are you, you going to give me? Answer. A job? Okay. I kind of thought you were just going to give me a pet <laughs> or something. I didn't really anticipate that this was going to involve any labor. This is the week to burn some. Mm. Can't filter by attack tape. You might be able to do that in rematch, actually. <sighs> but yeah, if it makes you feel any better, rematch and pet battle scripts are both add-ons that basically never cause me problems. Um, they're not usually on my culprit list for UI errors. I don't really know what I'm doing this for. I'm assuming there's a reason. One thing I really would like to do today is my gathering knowledge. I guess I also need to get one more knowledge treasure here, but I love getting my gathering knowledge every week because it's kind of like a nice little, you know, discrete task. It's It's got a beginning and an end. <laughs> I know exactly how much knowledge I need from the week aura. I am earning gold alongside doing it. Every week that I do my gathering for knowledge, I'm making a little bit more gold because I'm because I'm getting a little bit more knowledge every time. It's just kind of satisfying. Plus, as you get more and more, I mean, I'm not going to have the Weaver buff this week, but as you get more and more uh, deafness, you start to pick up stuff a lot faster. Enhanced Pet Journal, six years out of date, doesn't work anymore. Yeah, I used to use Pet Journal Enhanced. Um, I now use the Rematch Pet Journal. I don't like it quite as much as I used to like Pet Journal Enhanced. Just because Pet Journal Enhanced had a way of adding extra features without changing the whole look of the UI, which I liked. I don't like it when add-ons are super aggressive about visually overhauling something just for the sake of putting their own visuals in. Um, so I liked that about Mount Journal Enhanced and Pet Journal Enhanced, that they were basically adding more filters, but keeping the same style of the original journal. But you know, what do you do? I'm using Rematch now. Jellmore49, thank you for the 42 month reset. Happy answer to life, the universe, and everything to all who celebrate. Mm. Plants. Sure, we can remove these plants. I was joking last night in Caesar Borellus about the way that I would take a chainsaw to the trees in the back half of that place. 
It's like nobody would miss them if you went into the Mythic Plus version of that of that dungeon and you just took your delete key and you just killed the trees. <laughs> At least the ones over the path that, that block your uh, block your view with the foliage. You end up just playing super zoomed in. I shouldn't say nobody would be mad. There's always somebody who's going to be mad. Oh, <laughs> gee. Foliage. I've been foiled by foliage. Made of my existence. What are we doing? At what point are you going to give me something cool? <laughs> Any treasures? Oh yeah, I was going to do the Hellafall light thing. That's right, I forgot. I don't have um, the links yet. There's a links mount that you can get for doing the, the lamp lighters caches. And I don't have one. And it's a kitty cat, I want it. <laughs> it, sounds, it sounds nice. It's a ground mount, so I'm never gonna ride it, but we should still have it just because. Seems reasonable. Forgotten Memorial. Can I just have this? Hmm. We have four cash. No, that was from earlier. Don't know what's up with that. Do you get the pet from the shadow farm up there? Did I get the pet from the shadow farm? Do you know the name of the pet? Because I'm not sure. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I think I'm just side questing at this point. I think I should just hide these for now. Thunder is the name. Okay. No, I don't have thunder yet. Tale of Tales. Sounds like just side questing, huh? It's a rep links as well. Hmm. Hmm. I'm convinced that all of Azeroth's dungeoneers somehow managed to upset the Arborist Guild. Very easy to get. Okay. Well, let's go to Hallowfall, because... There's only three more Ajka Het treasures. I should probably do those. That'll be kind of fun. That'd be good to get done. One, two, three. Just another thing off the permanent list. What would you like? Just just looting? Nowadays, whenever there's a treasure that's needed for an achievement and you can just walk up to it and pick it up, I'm suspicious. I'm always suspicious. I don't trust it. It's What do you mean you don't want me to find four individually colored beetles and get them to fall in love and then bring their children to kindergarten and then have them paint a picture? and then win an art contest with the finest picture and then bring the metal to the treasure where it magically fits into a slot in the front. We're looking for a memory cache. Get unseeming shift and then kill a corrupted memory here for a cache key, okay. Do I have a cache key? I don't, but I know how to get unseeming shift, so we're okay. I <laughs> would watch that Netflix series. Some of those are pretty fun. I summoned a huge rare to dubious altar today. Oh, is that the one in um, Hallowfall that you do with the, the lure that you get the three parts for? I did that as well. I didn't know that it was not a treasure. It was like a rare, I guess. But uh, that was the one that I summoned. If, if we're talking about the same thing, that was the one that I summoned. And then I called Flabby to come help because it had more health than I wanted to tackle on my own. We might have been able to do it, but it was definitely a, an easy two-man. So, let me kill this memory. Five part treasure, the rare is a two part offering. Oh. Maybe I'm thinking of something else then. Oh, you're right. You're totally right. I got mind slurp. <laughs> mind slurp? There's a word for you. 
We're having a great day for pets. Well. Yep. <laughs> I like it spaghetti. <laughs> it's a brain. It's the worms. Smell. Blizzard has stated in the past some secrets that have been in the game for years that players still haven't discovered. Hmm, still intriguing. <laughs> Don't let it eat me! <laughs> oh! Alright, I'll stop. I'm going to... I just need one more. Looks like I can just go in a nook near the beneath the platform. Is that the pet that transforms you sometimes? Oh, does it? <laughs> I only just got it, I'm not sure. That'd be kind of neat. Thank you for your raid guides. Fast enough that I can secretly AFK while doing the trash to see the next boss. Nice. That's the dream. I like that for the get this thing off me voice line, he sounds not only as though he's afraid for his life, but he's also like offended. Like, how dare this tentacle touch me? <laughs> I make too much money for this. Get this thing off me. <laughs> Nook below the platform. Yeah, there we go. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Treasures of Ashkehet. That'll come in handy one day. I don't know for what, but something. Oh, my bird's tired. Maybe I'll walk for a while. <laughs> we want to go to Hallowfall. Why do I want to go to Hallowfall? I want to go to Hallowfall so that I can do the lamp lighting thing for the week. Oh, I was going to check the rep vendor actually because I just got another rep level with them, so they might have something for me. Like your mind slip turns you into a zombie. I'll need to have it out with me for a while then. I want to see. Oh yeah, that's right. I still need my alchemical sediment. And that's from treasures. So we could get that from dirt if we're lucky. What day is Delve Day for you this week? What day is Delve Day? Is there a Delve Day? <laughs> is there like a reason to do it on one day? I did a couple Delves yesterday off stream. Sometimes I do them on weekends if I'm not doing keys. I know it's a bonus week. I don't know. So you get extra Delver's Journey progress. I'm a little fuzzy on what that's for. Like, I know that there's, like, that bar, but I don't know why I want to fill it up. And then... Undercoin gains and companion experience gains. It's nice hearing you play WoW even in your free time. Mm -hmm. It's a good expansion. Unlocks things for your mount. I don't really want to unlock anything for that mount, though. I don't ride it. It wiggles too much. <laughs> and I look ridiculous in it. Do I look any better in it yet? Does my gnome sit in it properly? Maybe I'll forgive it if my gnome sits in it correctly. Like, they have to fix it, right? Like, it, it was like a selling point of the whole delve system in the expansion. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say no, not better. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, there was dirt. Sometimes I get this one mixed up with the one where you do want to catch the swirls and I get in trouble. Tankran didn't think about gnomes. It's plagued by the night bay leaf problem. Oh, does that one do it too? You'd think I would know. I'm pretty sure I was. Uh, oh no, I was a human in Shadowlands. That's right. I think I know the mount you're talking about. Maybe it's just Arden build. This thing. Oh, the cradle. That must have been fixed, because I look great on that. I look amazing. <laughs> I look fantastic. 
did for a long time, sort of stand through it. Uh, how come I don't ride this thing more often? This thing was luxury. Who wouldn't want to be <laughs> cradled all the way there? When I was a little kid and I would have to walk to school, I used to fantasize about the bus from the Spice Girls movie because it was like a bus that had beds on it or like a motorhome because I was like, yo, what if someone could drive me to school and there'd be a bed in the vehicle so I could stay in bed all the way to school? Um, and nowhere in the fantasy did it occur to me to fantasize about not having to go to school. That didn't enter my head. I just thought, you know, it'd be really cool if I could just like stay in bed until we get there. <laughs> As opposed to having to put on clothes and walk. <sighs> Check out the, uh, see if there's anything I can buy out here. That's, that's exactly right. Driven by Meatloaf. May he rest in peace. Sacred flame guide your way, friend. Okay, for the rest, another key. We must buy anything cool. Belladar to shift. Goodbye, shoulders. They look nice, but resonance crystals are really at a bit of a premium. You need a ton of them. And they seem expansive. Always be prepared. Did you hear? Buying trolley snacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've uh I was lucky enough that somebody actually sent me a code for one cuz I can't get that in Canada but the the codes work for any region so somebody actually helped me out already. Sometimes I feel attacked by Brand. He tells me you got to dodge and does and I honestly think that's a healer problem. Those web summon the rubians. Don't stand in them. <laughs> Tell me what to do. <laughs> Worry about yourself, Bran. Don't stand there! Yeah. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing? I hope that in future iterations of Delves, that they have a different companion, and it's not always Bran. I would love so many other people. Bran's great, don't get me wrong. Bran's fine. Bran's okay. Bran will do. Like <laughs> He's getting downgraded every time I add on to that sentence. But, um, yeah. Chromie, Kelsey Steelspark, Flynn Fairwind, Sneaky Pete. <laughs> Pretty much anybody. <laughs> Give Rexar. Yeah, Chromie's a bit too OP. Reno would be really fun. <laughs> Who else am I forgetting? Explorer's League, very likely, yeah. Hope we don't have to level up a new guy from scratch. I bet we will expansion to expansion. I don't think you would have to re-level within a given expansion, but I bet next expansion in midnight we would need to start again. Worth doing island expeditions to hear his snark. Better be a horde character. Bran Alliance? I thought he was one of those people that's for everybody. I guess it could be like a horde, like like a Rexar or like a I'm trying to think of who else. When I think of like horde helpers. I think of Alphalus, but that's just because I'm a priest, so she helped me out. She was a banshee that helped me out in um <laughs> Legion. Are you saying that somebody's race? determines them to a faction. Oh yeah, Lillian Voss. I don't... I appreciate her story, but she's kind of a... she's kind of a downer. <laughs> Love it if Blizz let us purchase different Delve companions. Mm -hmm. Keep her quarreling, or the Volpair from the Dragon's Guild Expedition. <sighs> the troll lady from Majka Hut. Oh, 
Oh, I was gonna say the troll NPC from the troll starting area, but I think he dies. I don't think he makes it out of the starting area. I mean, poor guy gets the lamp gets nuked. Thin. For the Arathi to survive, we must settle in Bring back and Kiki. From light. The turtle people for the FA. Ah. I uh. I don't, but that's only because they yell at me constantly from my Brutosaurus. <laughs> They're constantly hitting me with the come back with some better stories. And I've heard things that would scare you shellless. And it's like, yeah, 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 no one asked. Did you ever get the bubble toy? I'm not sure if I did. Yeah, I think realistically, Explorers League is pretty likely. <sighs> I'm just hoping they get some guest stars now and then. I never did get that weak ore that kind of like helps you track everything going on out here at the Key Flames. Oh, from the Turtle and Rep Cash thing, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I never got that. What was it? Like a. Bowl of glowing puffer fish. Does it make bubbles? I don't think it has anything to do with bubbles. I don't know if I would have remembered if it said puffer fish, though. I guess I don't know what it does because I don't have it. <laughs> I wouldn't know what it does. Oh man, I could go help some turtles get to the water and find out. Can't decide if I should buy the Harvest Golem outfit or not. It's so expensive. It's a tough one because it's so unique. Um, and it's very cool, but yeah, 800 tender, that's like, it's like a mount. Field by field, one world quest plus one weekly quest. Move to the next eight times. Bish bash bosh. <laughs> Bowl of glowing puffer fish, delicious and deadly. Do I have a torch? Is there a, oh, I have lots of them. Hello? Just looking for an old rotting crate. Oh, hey, it worked. Oh, I got my um, alchemy knowledge. Nice. Let me find some of these little guys. Never enough tender, such a struggle. I'd have bought the golem outfit if the hat and mask were separate. That's adorable. I have an inexplicable fondness for the back piece on it. It's just like a bunch of planks. It just looks like scraps of rotting 2x4 nailed together. And that's awesome. There's nothing like it. <laughs> but I won't spend 800 tender just to get the back piece. That's ridiculous. It's too much. One good thing about having played very sporadically for the last two years is I have enough tender for now. It's getting Scarecrow pretty fun. Who doesn't want a fence in their pack, right? <laughs> Instant noodle and hazel stroop. I made a terrible joke to myself recently, quietly and alone in my head, where I was reminded of the brand of noodles, Mr. Noodles, and then I thought, because I was very sore after some exercise, I thought, you know who I am? I am Miss Noodle. Makes sense, but I had to do this one. No relation. Yeah, <laughs> no relation at all. <laughs> it's funny, I got some chicken flavored ramen for my partner. Not Mr. Noodle, it was a different brand, but we did consider Mr. Noodle in this ramen purchasing journey. And I specifically wanted to get him some chicken stuff, and we, we do get it. And I'm like reading the ingredients later at home, and I'm like, this this ramen has everything in it but chicken. Like, it actually does not contain any meat at all. <laughs> it's fully vegetarian. It just like, it's supposed to remind you of chicken or something. I don't know. There isn't even chicken flavor. <laughs> it was very funny. I still think I'm good, but might be vegan. Because mm -hmm. the photo on the package is like the most chickeny chicken. It's like zoomed in to show like the 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 texture 
of like where the feathers used to be in it. It's like a very raw looking chicken cutlet or whatever, I don't know, on the on the package. And the actual food product contains no chicken at all. Never worry too much about transmog. Favorite class race combo, working through. Nothing will really look good to me, but nobody will see anyways. I feel that one. Well, you know, you're always warm. <laughs> one way or another, you got a big fur coat. I tell my dog all the time that I'm jealous of his coat, but not in a Cruella Krill de Vil way. You know, like, he can keep it. <laughs> I just love it so much. I found some posh noodles, even has a packet of chicken fat. Well, yeah. If there's no chicken in there, would you eat it? Hypothetically, yes, but, like, practically? Um, I'm... I'm kind of off off that kind of thing for the moment. I'm not too good for it or anything, but um, sometimes the really salty or the really processed food has been giving my body problems, so I've found it easier just to keep off of it. I had a, a character building moment yesterday when I was going to make something just for myself for lunch, and I was like, just about to reach for like a box of like craft dinner, basically. And then I was like, you know what? I don't want to do it. <laughs> it's just going to hurt me. This is going to feel so bad in like 35 minutes when I've finished eating it. I'm just gonna have some peanut butter and banana. It's, it's, it's not worth it. Am I still... I mean, I'm doing this in the slowest possible way, but it's fine. Don't get me wrong. The, the craft dinner is always on hand. <laughs> I always keep some uh, locked down for emergencies. Sometimes it's just what the moment calls for, but it doesn't do me any favor. Getting older sucks. So far, none of the things that have started to hurt me were things that I really needed in my life anyways. So I've been okay to, to leave them behind and find other stuff to eat instead. I've been lucky in that way. Oh, hey, I got a... Oh, no, I had that one already, but I guess I could sell it or delete it or something. I don't know. Do I still have the torch on me? I have a torch buff for another six minutes. I guess I should just keep an eye out for the treasures. Maybe they're... Maybe sometimes they're around, but not like in that exact area. I don't know. Or maybe they're just not spawned. Oh, there was a quest over there for a second. Why? How frequently do you do patron orders? I check them every day. I don't think I need to check them every day, but it's just kind of a nice routine. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna save up all the lamplighter supply caches and then I'll open them all at once at the end. Yeah, I think your mode, your method, Ujai, of kind of going through and doing like a world quest and then a a quest you are an outsider, sounds yes. like a good idea Just to not get overwhelmed. Did I already loot this one? No. I have torch. Hello? Always a nice surprise when the patron orders have all the mats. Except they're almost always patterns I don't have. Yeah. Sometimes the enchanting ones are really nice. I get antsy if I just pick up everything and then do it. Normally that's what I would like to do in an area, but there's so much stuff that... It also kind of makes me uncomfortable, so I get it. I think you're onto something. I do sometimes run into a problem, though, where I will have not picked up the killing rares quest, and then I'll kill a rare, and it won't count. And then I'm like, well, I need to do two more, but they have buckets of health. Uh, let's untrack that for now. And that. What do they want me to do with the harvest bot? Oh no, not this. Okay. <laughs> I didn't like this one. Want to kill everywhere regardless? They give rep. That's a good point. <laughs> That's probably why you're finished Hallow Fall on him at 14. <laughs> Never seen this quest. This was one of like the first quests that I ever did out here and it gave me a terrible impression. Of what was going on. Okay. 
Because I think I was trying to load them onto some other kind of cart. There was some cart-like object that wasn't the right one. But it seemed good enough to me, but that wasn't what they want me to do. Not finished, but I am at 21. Very nice. Uh, backseating. I will take some backseating on this quest. <laughs> Thank you for asking. What do you got for me? Because I think I know how to load the load the stuff onto the cart. I just needed to come over here. Or I could find another thing. I was listening since I always gave up on this one. Yeah, so we've we've been our we've done our cabbages. That seemed easier. And then we need mites. Oh, they don't have CDs. Oh, I see. Um. Oh, I need to actually, like, gotcha, okay. Jump with two kill mites with one. I see. It's, like, cute because the little harvest guy is cute, but it's honestly, it just feels fiddly when you play it. I don't know if I've, I don't know if there are many world quests that are vehicle based that are better for being vehicle based. The only ones I really like are when they put you in a giant orb and they let you run over stuff Katamari Damacy style. Those are worth it. <laughs> Those are fun. Constantly aggro actual mobs die on my harvester. I think I got kind of lucky. Sell anything? Hmm. Weird. I could spend a remnant to buy basically like a lust, 25% haste for 30 seconds. Maybe I'll use that for uh something big. A rare, maybe. So ever blossoming fungi. All the way over here. I can never keep track of how many key flames I've lit up like the lesser ones, and where the ones that I haven't lit up yet are. I just kind of light them when I see them, but I'm the sure I miss some sometimes. The with of ten Buff the Zalatath affix this week. Even our for, uh, for her or for us? I'm worried. The sacred flame is powerful. Also, I will say even that the... Uh... Oh no, that's a delve. Can wield it through the use of holy oil. Do they want me to go in the delve? I'm looking it up. Fungus quest is in the delve. Mob has more health, cooldown reduction 50% instead of 20. That's pretty good. Small glowing mushrooms to complete. Okay. Also, this world quest where you do the gigantobellas, awful because there's never any. They have such a slow respawn. Is it a bountiful delve? I don't think so. I don't want to do it just for a quest. I mean, I guess I could do it on like rank one. Rejoice, lesser key flame drops the quest. Oh, it's for an achievement though. All right. All right, I'll do it. Um, should I just do it on a low on a low one? Root fungi at the walls. Did this last. Uh, you're not gonna... I don't even think it's bountiful. Don't have to do the whole delve either. Okay. Alright, alright. We'll do it. Does the achievement give me something? Because I mainly care about achievements if they give me pets or cute trans mod. If it's just for points, then I think it's safe to say we don't really care. Although I guess maybe if there's eventually like a meta mount that we think is going to be involved, that might come up. Just in case, I suppose. I suppose. I couldn't 
tell you anything about what my brand does, by the way. He's a spec at random, it's a mess. Quest gives ref, so, you know. I'm not hungry. I don't want to eat. It's not lunchtime yet. Oh. I don't even know what I would want to eat. If I did want to eat, which I don't, because it's not lunchtime. I swear, every day that I get older, I regress a little bit closer to being a kindergartner. What? That thing. Somebody lost a shoe. I don't think there's any harm in me finishing this delve on a tier one. It could, uh, you know, I've got the delve weekly. I won't open a chest if there is one. I won't use a key or anything, but... Finish the Bountiful Delve, regardless of whether you use a key, it will no longer be Bountiful. But you get like four more Bountifuls every day, right? I don't know if I've ever done four in one day. It would mainly be a thing if I was worried about running out. I'm the worst. Grunthal. Always four bountiful delves each day. Okay. Yeah, it seemed like there was gonna be plenty. One day I'm gonna get into these, and it's gonna be like well after everybody else has already finished with them. What am I doing on mushrooms anyway? Twelve of twenty. It is nice to do it on a one because then things actually die in a reasonable frame of time. I feel like delves always take me twenty-five minutes each. And it's just, it just feels so slow. Kind of like Torghast, way more fun in a group. I do have more fun in Delves in the group. I actually like Torghast solo though. Torghast as a solo holy priest was so fun. The builds were so cool. I loved getting that, that holy fire damage stack thing. And then just one-shotting bosses with it. it was so funny. I don't know what spec my Bran is. He's a mess is what he is. He's, um, I think he's healing right now, because I see him chucking health pots. Okay. I think I was probably supposed to speak with somebody that I've probably run... Yeah, they were back at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't there supposed to be something to do in here? Yeah, no, I, I know I can leave. I just want to do it for the weekly. In case I don't do any more. But um, maybe if I'm going to do it, I should uh, get the objective. Every time someone says, my brand, I think back to that contact commercial where the guys over dramatically like my brand. I don't think I've ever seen that one. Oh, I guess that's a problem. So I missed Reno down here. What are your orders? I just like that there's a there's an achievement called Raisin Brand. I think it's so funny that we were talking about how that should be a thing, and then somebody in chat was like, "It is," and we looked, and there was an achievement called exactly that. Oh yeah, the piggies. Well, maybe it'll be really fast to finish, because once I pick up the quest, we can just kind of run through. I don't think these things respawn. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot to start the thing at the very beginning. I don't know if I've ever had a great experience in a delve because I lose all my brain cells the moment I step inside one and I do them horribly incorrectly. <laughs> and then I go, oh no, it takes so long while well, I just didn't do the very clear and obvious objective. I'll get your pigs. I've even done this before. They have cute names and everything. I did get the, um, the quest done though, so that's good. 
That's like when I was gathering odd globs of wax and I thought they really didn't go on an achievement called Every Damn Snuffland. Forgot that was the name of the intro quest. Biggies? Oh, I was supposed to jump, maybe. When I do the wax treasures, if it hits me with one that I don't like, or like the catching wax thing, I just don't even try that hard and just go, well, I was not destined to get very much wax from this one. Oh well. What are you gonna do? Try? Effort? Me? Ooh. <laughs> About that. I used it all up. I used it all up earlier. I've, I have none left for this treasure. I need to go up the thing. I still can't believe that they uh, they murdered my poor boy uh, Coppers the Kobold. I was so excited for him. I still have him, but like, why? You know, for what? What happens if you open all the things in here? Oh. There's a there's a There's a pet from a treasure chest. Where? Hang on. Hold on. <laughs> I'm going back. Uh, maybe they're not always up. Looks like it should be up. Yeah, I haven't been doing a very thorough job of these. What about that one? Ancient tool. It's for... There's an achievement, though. <laughs> I need it. I'm getting so distracted. This is... This is gonna set me back. This is the kind of thing I would never do when I was in a group. Well, I don't know about never, actually. I'm a pretty terrible friend, but, um... I shouldn't do when I'm in a group and there's people waiting for me to come help. Yeah, yeah, my hair... My hair curls naturally. If it's ever straight, it's because I've I've done something to it. Well, at least they give me a mushroom to get out here. You get all the discoveries in each delve. There's a title, if you're into that sort of thing. <laughs> Seeker of Loot. Seeker of Loot. So I want that one too. That just says resonance crystals. How do I get the violent spore bit? Violet spore bit. Violence yet to be determined. Drops from the Fungarian Delves heavy trunk. Fungarian Delves. Okay, so it can drop from this delve. Maybe it's not always present. There's only like two wowhead comments, so either it's not that remarkable and nobody cares, or it's not that common and no one's really dealt with it yet. <laughs> the cosmetic armor that you get from the vendors for Dells costs so many resonance crystals and there's so much of it. I need like a resonance crystal farming regime to do every day or something. World quests or treasures or something just cause like, it's a lot. End of Delve chest maybe? Ooh, maybe that's it actually. That makes sense. Battle chest cause there's also shroom caps. It's going to be unfortunate if it turns out that I didn't um, save all the pigs. I just ran by some of them. And then there's Chester. He's from Bountiful Delves, it looks like. Heavy trunks are in the treasure room. Got it. Yeah, the orbs that you fly through give you like two crystals. I don't. I think it would be pretty brutal to farm them that way. Not when you need twenty six hundred for an armor piece. What else do you get resonance crystals from? What do I have? Because I have been spending them here and there. I have eighteen hundred, and then it looks like my alt has another thirty five hundred. I used a few on armor for my alt. 
I tried to disengage, actually. I was thinking about my hunter, and then I just tried to disengage through water like I'm like I'm playing her. I'm not. Oh dear. Yeah, weeklies are probably the, the move. That's a good point. I got too sidetracked by the treasures and also missing the objective for a while. It's just a tier one. It's going to take me like five minutes. Rental. My DBM is going to give me a timer at the end of this and it's going to be embarrassing. We need that though. That'll be for an achievement. And apparently, 250 resonance crystals speak of the devil. It just seems like one of those grinds that I'm in danger of not being finished with by the time the expansion ends. I'm a little worried about that. It's like I only barely got enough Dragon Isle supplies to get most of what I wanted by the end of Dragonflight, and I definitely didn't get everything. And I played the whole expansion! I played a lot! Felt like I played a lot. You can just loot that insta though, that's nice. I only have two level 80s though, and I don't know if I want more. <laughs> Charging. I guess even two is better than, better than one. Would you take a one-to-one -one exchange for Valor Stones to Crystals? You know what? I would, actually. Just to siphon a few off the top whenever I'm close to Captain Valor Stones. There we go. Stand back while I clear this away. And luckily, it didn't seem like it was bountiful to begin with, so it doesn't really matter. That took me... Eh, it was 12 minutes. It was just a long 12 minutes. <laughs> Can't complain that much. Oh no! Oh dear. Can we do a randomizer for the next level 80? Like to roll it from scratch or to like randomly pick one of my 70s that I have. You are here for thunder. I forgot about thunder. Am I here for thunder? I thought I was here for lamplighter satchels. <laughs> I should get to thunder eventually. Is this, some is this something I can do in like 30 seconds? I could just like pick it up and be like, haha, I've got it. Pet. Channel points for next level. But then I'm gonna have another 80. I'm already like on the fence about how much I want to do with the first level 80 or the second the one. The second one. Stretched thin. About 30 seconds, the three minutes. Oh, okay. We must settle in Am I petty enough to time it? I might Belladar's be. Light. The darkness strikes out with threats not even our key flames miss. can dispel. Aid us, outsider. Be our beacon in the darkness. Okay. Extra satchels. What if your next 80 was a tailor for your priest? Yeah, I guess I could maybe use it. I don't know about an armor crafting profession, though. It doesn't sound like a good idea for me. Arathi, yet the shadow corrupts even our machines. You know what, actually? I could be a tailor and nothing says that I have to... You know what I should use? This? I should use that haste thing if I can find it. I forget the name of it. I bought a... yeah, sugar shrimp. Sugar shrimps are OP. <laughs> I have a lot of haste. 
I mean, I PI'd myself as well, but still. I'm a BS, it's legit just to make weapons for my main. Yeah, I guess I could either just like make stuff just for me, or I could spec it into things like profession equipment, or even like, surprise. you know, regents and stuff. Don't Nothing despair. says I have to make armor. The Dark crazed harvester. Alright. Something to report. What do you sell? Okay. Anchors away. This is something I've not delved into much yet. Is the um, the different things you can get off the vendors like this? So apparently, I can repair something to help me fight. Oh no, not that! This. I'm an armor crafter in one all, a blacksmith making shields. I might be the only one on my server. It's such bad value, but my main needed a shield. So what can I do? Oh man. I mean, there's gotta be some transmog collecting value there. You'd think? Like, uh. You can, you can make yourself like a cheap version of all kinds of different things to collect the crafted mog for the expansion. This quest sucks, right? Like, eight of these things is kind of brutal. Sequence initiated. I guess now that I've got a bit more gear, it's not so bad. Ow, no, I changed my mind. It sucks. <laughs> Ow, that hurts. I want from Hallowfall. Now that I've got Hannah's enough threats for my thing. Failed. It's like a pet or a mount or something. Kitties are good. You can usually bribe me with cats. <laughs> Solid strategy any day of the week. any cool cats around your adventures recently? My dog, like, ran up to one this morning. I, I stopped it, because even if he just wants to, like, kind of greet it, which, like, he does with Kira, like, he'll run up to her, and then he'll plant, and then he'll sniff her and be like, how you doing? And then she um, looks at him with loathing, or looks in his direction, anyway. I wasn't about to find out, because <laughs> it's a very large cat, and it's not my cat. So I stopped him, but uh, that cat was not concerned about the 70 pound dog sprinting up to it. No cares. It looked at it like I wouldn't. <laughs> He's just looking at Moose like, I don't think you should do that. That's not recommended if you want to live. Mm. Hello, bug out trying to kill low level moms. Yeah, you must be in combat with a target in order to for Halo to damage it. It's annoying for something like that but you can't pull with it. Um, and in the long term, it is good because it means that you can System safely use it in dungeons required. and stuff, and it's not gonna pull anything that we weren't already in combat with. It used to be a really scary thing to use in dungeons, but now you kind of have to, so. So glad that there's no time limit on delves. Yeah, that is nice. Thought it would be good for legacy content, guess not. Yeah, it's a little bit annoying for that. I rely on Holy Nova detected. for legacy content, and it's not perfect, but it does okay. Oh, hang on. Oh, there it is. Uh -huh. That's not what I was looking for, actually. That was a completely different thing, but I'll take it. Crabmore's finest at your service. This world quest is awful, I don't want it. May Felidar stay in the light. Ok, 
few different things to deliver here. We are the holders of hope. Oh no, the Valor Stone. The Rip! <laughs> Alright, I'm looking it up. How do we get thunder? There was some pet that I was petting cats for. Or maybe it was a male. Tale of Tales. Reactivate the Torchlight Mine area. Attica Whisker Vale. Has some dialogue about Captain Lance Cat. When you read everything, Tale of Tales will be available. Accept both quests. Make sure you get the Cave Torch. That's a lot of words. Getting a little overwhelmed. We can do it. It's gonna be up this way. I feel like I don't normally get this far north. And that should tell you. My map is just an absolute cluster. It's just stressful. <laughs> it's hard to look at. There's a lot going on there. There's a lot of noise to filter out when you're not sure exactly what the signal is. Or when you're not used to what you're looking for. Use fear to hunt the um, no longer. You Lots of key flame around your summer, right? And there it is. Alike. I think we'll get the hang of it. You may not share our faith. <laughs> but but your valor is a beacon that rivals the key flame. You have our gratitude. Lynx. All right, Lynx kitten, beef beans, thunder and Captain Elena. All righty. 10 of these. Sure leads. reason I cleared my map of everything. I was so proud of myself for clearing so many things off my map in this area and they all came back. <laughs> I guess they can't all have come back, but it felt like a lot of them did. The hunger of the Kovis knows no <laughs> just bounds. Too many Their cruelty has made us fear the sea. Drive them from oh, our shore sake. back to their abyssal home. <sighs> I feel like the male Arathi voice actor sounds like he's going to break out into a Broadway number at any moment. Uh, the true player, thank you for the three month week, so. Oh, hey, a harvest spot. I can fix it. Three. I guess I have tons of resonance crystals. Not that I need to kill anything here right now. Oh, there's a kitten. There's a baby. Beats. I want to name a kitten Turtle because of the beans. If you think of the different names for beans, turtles are pretty cute. Turtle beans are cute. It's cuter than a cat named Kidney. <laughs> Although Kidney the kitten's also a little bit funny. Activated the harvest bot for like no reason. I think I can hear my dog snoring from another room. It like rumbles. Because the cat's not snoring in here. Obsessed with a dog named Toaster. <laughs> no way, that's what I want to name a cat one day too. <laughs> Toaster's a fantastic name for a dog. I'm not making any progress here. If I look at my map and I look at this absolute nightmare of a mess. There's also Lynx I need to pet, apparently. I didn't pet this one. That's for a different achievement. Hello? Would you like some attention? Very good. That should clear that off my map. Right? Yes? Oh, Fuzzy and Furball. So this is furball, so fuzzy's around here somewhere too. Here's fuzzy. Furball. For such a such a pet focused section, I I'm sad there's nobody. None of my neither of my pets are in here with me. I tried to entice Moose in here by bringing one of his toys, but he was not having it. He was too tired. He was gonna snooze and nap right exactly where he was. 
Can I solo this? I have a feeling I cannot, but... You know, I do have my harvest bot. Harvest bot? Hello? <laughs> Can you come help me, please? I'm trying to drag it in his direction. He's just patrolling away. Somebody else came by. We'll be alright. Oh, he was immune to fear. You should have guessed. That'll help. I really should try to find these kittens. Maybe a slash target will work. Maybe over here. I'm looking for beef right now. Go into the cave. Fire the flare. There's a cave? 66 comma 15. Oh, I see. I gotcha. I gotcha. There is a cave. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> that explains what's happened here. I think I maybe see it. No, I see something. Shift in your favor. Stay alert. And there's something about a flare. Maybe my torch will do. I've got a bunch of the weak torches. I must have gotten really lucky to find the other one because, uh... It doesn't seem like I'm... Oh, there it is! <laughs> Does not seem as easy to find as I originally thought. I suppose I should, uh... Finish the world quest. They're very small. I didn't realize you had to find them with torches. I kind of thought they'd just be hanging out. A kitten. They're very cute. It's been 10 years since I've been around a little baby one, but from what I recall, they're demons. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's a bigger radius. That helps, actually. Keep getting TikToks of kittens. <laughs> I watched an inadvisable amount of YouTube shorts of huskies. I find them very validating. Not because, I mean, my dog is like 20% husky. He's got husky involved, I think is the most you can say. But um, he shares some personality traits. <laughs> so it's very funny to me to watch other huskies like refuse to be reasonable because sometimes my dog also refuses to be reasonable. <laughs> he probably thinks I'm being unreasonable. He's in his husky era. Mm -hmm. Very independent dogs. <laughs> Lots of opinions. A treasure chest in that cave? Oh yeah. There's a tabard, apparently. Between the pools. Loves getting into mom's house plants, little stinker. Mm. A lot of yappery. Am 
mine doesn't talk much. But he's very clear when he has something to say. I see the cave. Where the treasure? Usually what he has to say is, I want something, and usually the way he gets it is by planting his butt and refusing to move until the thing happens. <laughs> does Kira speak often? Not often, which makes it even more cute when she does. She talked to me this morning. It was very funny. I came, well, I thought it was funny. I came out into the living room and I said, hi, puppy, because Moosey was sleeping right there. And Moose was like asleep, but the Kira goes, meow, like, what do you mean, puppy? Me, say hi to me. And she was right. So I went and I cuddled her a bit. <laughs> but she doesn't, when she, she, she talks to you sometimes, like she'll kind of, you can have a conversation with her like you can with some cats. Whenever she feels chatty, if you if you talk to her, she'll keep she'll keep it going. She's very expressive when she does choose to meow. You can really tell how mad she is at her given circumstances by how mad her meow sounds. Like she has a very cute, soft little chirps when she's happy, and then as, if she's upset about something, it's a meow. Or if she's upset and feeling kind of petty, she brings out the valley girl cat and she does the meow. <laughs> Which is the funniest thing I've ever heard. Teaching us to do a little spin when we hold a treat over her head. Oh, that is very cute. <laughs> babies. Even when they're grown up, they're still babies. I'm gonna be trapped in this cave forever and ever. I don't think I'm ever gonna be free. I don't remember how to leave. Hello? Maybe this way. That's the first time I've ever done that particular quest. Maybe it'll be good for the achievement. You know what? Three minutes wasn't enough! <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of glad I didn't try to time it. It would have made me look very bad at this. I find when I am out world questing, I get tons of these dirt treasures. And they have usually some... Uh, well, I guess I got one Valor Storm from that. I can't talk too, too big a game on it. Oh no, no, thank you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let me look. We will get this cat. There's two more. And I, I think I have the premise down there. Although maybe I wasn't supposed to turn in that quest because now I think they took their big torch back and now I just have the, the little torches. Oh, it's still angry with me. Let's see if we can range it. The other kitten is at in Hallowfall. Fierce predators of the undersea Elena, up and prey upon near the, the spiders. Folk. Keep them clear. Got an in-game map pin here. There. Oh, there it is. And then thunder our last one. There. That's nice. A lot of dirt in these fields. It's nice whenever you just need to get some profession knowledge really quick because uh, you can pretty reliably find them in the field. I mean it's a place you might expect to find dirt but still. <laughs> Alright. Big day for pets. My goods are the pride of the Empire. Thunder is the least helpful name because it, d it just filters to like everything from the Isle of Thunder, um, Throne of Thunder, Najatar for some reason. There we go. Pet get. Let's see. Is it cute? Of course it's cute. They're all cute. Oh, it is very cute. 
I don't know how I would do with a long-haired cat like this. You have to brush them more. I, I have been brushing Kira recently, but most of her life she's brushed herself for the most part. Okay. I do want a cosmetic back piece. That does sound fun. <laughs> but I should start turning some of this stuff in. I'm never ever going to do all of Light's key flame in one day. I just, I would need like hours, I think. Crab supplies right here. Oh, maybe it's not a guaranteed drop. That piece is a menace. Looks like Sir Pounce and Kyrie, the trainer in hell. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> it's either thunder outside or my dog is snoring. <laughs> You're so dramatic. He's not even in the room. There's so many quests up there, it does take a long time. Does it reset daily or weekly we or three days or what's the deal? Alright, I'm gonna have five of these satchels to open, so that'll be nice. Making sure we're not too... Well, yeah, we're getting a little close to 2k Valor Stones again. Plus I have Raid tonight. Ugh. Actually, I can upgrade a couple things with those. I have some carved har harbinger crests. He's supposed to... The whole area is weekly. Okay. To yeah, there, I definitely didn't do everything, but I did some things. Any luck? One, two, three. Search the Ooh, area. I got a... Oh, the the I thought it was a pet. Four. Take them from and five. Explore leather belt. Alright, well, I got some stuff to put in the guild bank, at least. I'm not the guild bank. <laughs> My own personal guild bank. The, uh... War bank. Find a way to farm crystals, I guess. Yeah, that is true. We did get we did get a, a handful. Of resonance crystals. We'll use them for something, I'm sure. Big stretch. I think oh this put me to sleep at the end there. I think I am finished for today. It's noon. It's lunchtime. I'll be back tomorrow. Thursday's gonna come around. At some point I wanna do my gathering knowledge. We may also get um, get set up with some keys or dells or something, but I'm sure we'll have something going on. I appreciate you taking this time to spend with me today. Thank you very much for lending me your company. If you want to catch up on Twitch VODs and you want to do it on YouTube, there is a YouTube channel for that. I will link it below. And until next time, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!